<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Game Podcast. I'm Kyle Alford. And I'm Matt Carter. And I'm Justin Bell. Justin Bell. <laughs> Justin. Justin Bell. Yusuke Bell. Oh, man. Oh. Kira Oliver. <laughs> There's no Oliver. That sounds wrong. Olive. Oliver. Olive. Kira Oliver. <laughs> Olive. Olive. That's uh, stupid. That sounds French. Kira yeah. Olive. Yeah, that's isn't that French? Kidding, okay, but then okay. this week, no this right. week, masked heroes. Matt, Matt, we're putting on a false face for you guys. Yeah. As Konami said, you don't, you just don't know what hero is underneath the mask. No, you. Have Who could no it be? Idea. It could be any of the element of heroes. And with Mask Change Two, it can be anything, <laughs> anything except for Obelisk. It's not Obelisk under the mask. Oh, true. We know. We know. I know for sure Obelisk is not. Strange. Actually, he could be if you change his attribute. Homunculus is under every mask. Yes, that's what we learned. Wait, can you change his attribute? Can you change his attribute without like targeting him? No, there's probably. Oh, we we can't target him. His owner. No, no. Cannot be targeted. Period. Then no. Wait, is there another card that cannot be? Oh, you could just skill drain, then mm-hmm. equip. And then mass change too. Okay, mm. but I was thinking of uh, <laughs> so it could be obelisk. My bad. Um, see, I don't know. I was trying to think: is there some monster that can't be sent to the graveyard, like as its continuous effect? Um, because I was thinking it might say if you tributed. I know there's monsters that cannot be tributed. Period. Like who? Uh, ha! I win. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know that there is one. Like what? See, I, I'm not going to think of it off the top of my head. That's why I know there was it. something that came in the Ectoplasma deck. Is it Diabolos? Diabolos? Can they miss? Um, this card cannot be attributed by a card's effect. Diabolos, King of the Abyss. Mm. There I went. No. Revival <laughs> Jam. Revival Jam? That can be attributed. I, I know. Foxfire. Foxfire, mm, yes. I was oh, also yeah. thinking of Level Eater, but that can be tribu- tributed under weird circumstances. It can be tributed right? for a Tribute Summon. It can't. It only can't be tributed for a Tribute Summon. Mm. Yeah. What and about... There. Yeah, Ectoplasma. Ectoplasma is a spell. I know, but it makes tributed tokens. Yeah, so Level Eater can't be tributed by a card that can tribute, no, other than for a Tribute Summon. I mm. use Ectoplasma for Fortune Ladies. Ecto Ladies. No. Yeah. Ecto Ladies. It's, it was one way to set out Fortune Lady White. It's Ectoplasma. I miss Ecto Ladies. I miss Ectoplasma. That card's cool. I agree. It's a fun card. Complete side note back on track. Mask Heroes is today. And I don't remember. See, as he said, take two. I don't remember what we talked about in take one. I don't remember. Do you want me to like, sure. go through it again? I was like, Artie's like, it's funny that they're coming out. And they're hyped, and everybody's dreading them, but oh, they're yeah. like not relevant at all. And we were talking about how, theoretically, it's good against every top-tier deck, but then at the same time, every top-tier deck just has an out to all of it. I mean, it's the burn, like, I feel like that deck isn't, it, it's, it's with, the, well, I mean, blah, blah, blah. with Dark Law, you're trying to play like a control game. Yeah. And just, like, keep Dark on the field. But I feel like that deck doesn't have, like, the tools. Yeah. Like, uh, it doesn't provide anything to help the Dark Law. I mean, there's cards that work with Dark Law that are fantastic. Like, Vanity's Emptiness plus Dark Law. That's great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, 24 is really small. And I guess we'll get into that later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, 24 is really small, but... Because it's, like... The attack barrier is now 28. Mm. Like, once the Dark Law leaves the field, you like, the game is over for you. The thing about Dark Law is that it does not prevent people from trying to go after it. It just kind of hinders... It hinders their like, imagine strategy. It hinders it, but it does not prevent it. It would be good if, like... Imagine if one of the top three decks had just a way of summoning a Dark Law-like monster. Yeah. Then it would be like, Dark Law would be their, like, their, their stop deck, and their stop gap on top of their amazing speed and, like, explosiveness. Mm-hmm. But, like, heroes don't have amazing speed. Or explosiveness. They only have Dark Law. And once Dark yeah. Law is gone, then they lose pretty much. Like, take yes. Shadow Winda, for example. Mm-hmm. Less attack. 2200, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they but, can just plop it out whenever. Sure, they can just plop it out. I mean, let's say the that... Let's say that you could plop this out whenever you want, for argument's sake. You can. You We're can. saying 2400 attack isn't enough, and it has a macro effect, and that's not good enough. But something like Shadow Winda, 2200 attack. But it, 22. That's, that's not the problem, though. Mm-hmm. 
That's not the, the difference the, is the, between those two. The difference is the deck that's running it. Well, I was going to, in line to what Matt's talking about, I think the difference between them is that Windows effects protect itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Dark Cloud's effects have literally, it doesn't have any protection at all. It not just dies to things that kill things. Not have protection, but the deck that's like the mastermind behind it is like kind of like it's not, not nearly. Not good. Yeah, it's not like, so I, I suppose the, I, all the, the, the competitive Ooh. builds of heroes I typically. They run like a minor Destiny Hero engine because you can mass change any hero, which includes Destiny Heroes, and now Destiny Heroes are all dark, making them ideal for Dark Law. But then, I'm sure we discussed this before in a past podcast, Destiny Heroes don't do anything. <laughs> That's not true. They drop. They don't provide any, like Shadows, for example, they have all these great effects when they're fusioned with, right? Yeah. But then, as like a side note, to help them out, to grind through things, to make them really versatile, they all have really good flip effects. Mm -hmm. So, worst case scenario, I start setting monsters that have really good effect mods, uh, flip effects. Mm -hmm. Like, worst nice. case scenario, I'm running heroes and nothing happens. <laughs> I set a diamond dude. Yeah, 1600 oh, no. defense. Hey, yeah, that's good. 1600 is high. I know, but, the, but then, like, once again, comparing to Shadol's and no. Wenda, the deck that summons Wenda as no. the similar to Darklot esque. My all of my monsters that are like used to be sent to the graveyard like Dark Mist, Dark Mist, a thousand tech, Dragon, nineteen, Squamata, eighteen. Uh you're running a crappy deck to summon Dark Law. Yeah, okay. you're running a bunch of duty monsters that summon a really good monster. Mm -hmm. Once the, the good monster leaves the field or gets dethroned, you're back to running a duty deck and you get squashed really, really fast. Yeah. The hero deck is like a race to summon a fusion monster. It's like Shadows can summon Winda. It's like a good deck that summons a control a, a floodgate control monster is way different than a crappy deck that summons it. Because once the crappy deck loses the floodgate control monster, the game lose. over. Once Shadows lose it, that's like okay, that was my my one plan. Good like thing three. it was free and it gave me everything back that used yeah, to summon. Yeah, so I can it. just summon it again. Um, but that's like a minor difference. There's like other things about the decks there. Well, basically to say, heroes as a deck. Their strategy is their extra deck. Mm -hmm. Whereas Shadows isn't necessarily the extra deck. That's just like, the extra deck for Shadows is like a, a motion mechanic. While the, the monsters in the extra deck are good, they aren't the goal of the deck. You tribute extra deck monsters when you're done with them for your... Yeah, literally, I just, you would never, like, oh, tribute Dark Law for Dasher, because Dasher's good. Mm -hmm. But you, I'd tribute Construct for Beast, whatever. 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 I just got back two of the three things I used to make it. Literally, whatever. Whatever, brah. I got an advantage off it when I summoned it. Whatever, brah. And we'll, we'll talk about more of these hero cards individually, but by no means is this deck bad. No. It no. is a good deck. It is just not Shadow Burning to Biss Cliff Arts. Yeah. <laughs> well, brings me to my next point. Why did you call... I don't know, you guys came up with a deck like maybe two or three weeks Two no two or three months ago called Yellow's Plays Michael. Oh, that was that was Matt, not me. Matt, why no. did you why did you call it that? Because you summon. Because all that's them. literally the point of the deck is to summon one of those three monsters. Yellow's Plays Michael. Yeah. Okay. Next, you'll make. It's right here. It's yeah, this one. That's why I brought it. The next deck Michael. will be called Dark Law Biel's Michael. I don't know. Dark Law Biel's Michael. Dark Law. Dark Law is probably not even as good. No, I know. I'd rather have. I might rather have a Dark Law than a BLs. What happened in this deck? Did it die? No, it's no, fine. I mean, I just, I made it, and then that was it. Like, it did exactly what I expected it to. It was and then that was that. Really <laughs> awesome, yeah. But, yeah. I don't know, Pallades, I would take a Pallades over a Dark Law any day if it was as easy as a Dark Law. It was easy, easy. as a Dark Law. Like, I, I think Dark Law is pretty easy to yeah. summon. Easy. Yeah. And if I could make a deck that could summon Pallades as easy as him, I would rather run the Pallades deck, because oh. I think Pallades is better. Mm. I can tell what that card is now, because the... Uh... Resolution. Mm -hmm. But before we get into the masked heroes and it's what dead. else to say, it's dead. There's only one moral tech. It's dead. Yeah. yeah. We'll all, we'll first talk about what we've been doing. Yeah. Don't ask about it. Justin, what have you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So after not playing Yu-Gi-Oh pretty much for like two or three months, I decided I started coming to Mondays again. Started like messing around my deck. And the first thing I did was the first, like, two Mondays, I collected Melody's stuff and just watched people do it pretty much. Mm -hmm. Then I made a Melody's deck. It was awful. Actually. 
<laughs> you know, I dueled people. Um, it was a bit missing some stuff to be fair, but it, in general, it's pretty bad. So I started thinking about ways to improve it. I started... <laughs> <laughs> After countless times of Kyle saying, this deck is terrible, you are the worst, and other bad jokes making fun of how terrible Justin was. <laughs> <laughs> I had to endure a lot of that. Like, he's not kidding. Like, he kept telling you it was bad. Everybody around you like saying, this deck is off. Why are you running this? You're, you're bad. <laughs> you're bad. They would, they would outright refuse to duel me because it was awful. It wasn't that the deck was bad. It was that you were bad, and they don't want. They didn't want to be caught dueling a well, body. Well, like, uh, Big Rob from our locals, like... I don't know what Rob that Justin is. Justin was like, he's the larger guy. Oh, okay. Named Rob. Yeah. <laughs> he has facial hair, dark skin. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Justin was like, I challenge you to duel, and he's like, okay, and I was like, no, no don't battle him, and he's like, what, is he running some troll deck like Melodious? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes, literally, yes. He dueled me anyways. He's like the only person that like, dueled it. He'll duel anybody. Yeah. Which was useful, because if he didn't duel me, then I wasn't going to get anybody else. Then nobody will. <laughs> if you won't duel me, then nobody will. I mean, okay. dueling against that deck is like... No, I dueled against Phoenix <laughs> and beat him one round. <laughs> that was bad. I opened Thunder King, Solemn Warning, MST. Wow. <laughs> and Phoenix runs Clifford's. Oh. For anybody listening, Emperman. And that's like Every one way to beat Clifford's <laughs> is to open those three. And another time I opened that, I almost won, but I lost control. Like mm -hmm. at the very last second. He flipped over Skill Drain and then the game was over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was it. <sighs> Good times <laughs> opening up a Thunder King. Solemn Warning MSC. Pretty good. Yeah, they like, they finally summoned somebody warning it. And then, I remember he, he summoned a clip for it, clipped it with Sacrifice, and he's like, I'm going to tag over that TK, and then he MSTs the clip. He doesn't get to search, and it dies. Well, pretty cool. That's good. Prime. But every, then, every other time I didn't have, open that, I'd like, I lost it, really. <laughs> <laughs> Skill Drain is, I found out just how many ways that, that lock can be broken. <laughs> Skill drain, just instant kill. Yeah, he's got the, you can't destroy target, or target melodious monsters, period. And then you just flip skill drain, and, oh, they're both negated. So, <laughs> so none of those effects apply. And then good day. <laughs> the game. But no, okay, so that was that. I was like, this isn't good. So I tried to improve it. I started gathering, like, miscellaneous stuff, like Valhalla, and Hecatrice, and uh, Joe and Duo. I worked better. Still wasn't that good. So um, I tried to like take it in an agent direction, like run agents mm. with it, along with Hecatrice and Dial, so I can just just pop out Hyperion and Christian and stuff, and use that to like back up. No. The problem is nobody had three shine bows, so I couldn't like. <laughs> huh. What a problem! Yeah, and I'm sure Matt has them in the depths. I'm sure they are in the depths. Yeah, I thought about the depths, and all I saw was blackness. There was nothing shiny to this. So that was that. So I took out no balls. all of the fairy like related stuff and I added Burning Abyss. Like the, it Is turned it? into a Burning Abyss deck with three first movement solos and three gosh, well, I can't think of his name. Um the Aria? Little, no. Is it not Aria? Aria, yeah. yeah. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Aria the Melodious Diva. Yeah. No eulogy, none of the that. You googly, yeah. Uh, you googly. You googly. <laughs> no. Check so. out that reference. Guess what it's from. You googly. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> what is it? Oh, do you want me to tell you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's from Zoolander. I make a great you googleizer. Uh, he he gives a eulogy for someone, and then he says something about being a you googleizer and that you're jealous of is you googly. Great. That's really great. <laughs> I watched that movie and I didn't even remember that. But what a classic. Uh, what a classic. But no, I added Burning Abyss, and it became a pretty much a Burning Abyss deck with three first movement solos and three arias. And that was designed for like the chaos stuff to work, but then I found out that Dante was like that rendered it completely relevant. So now I'm probably pretty much probably just gonna make Burning Abyss. Period. Pretty period. Burning Abyss can be like it. It's a good deck. So yeah, we'll four. talk about first movement solo. Good card. Yeah, this is a good you card. You control no monsters. Special summon one level four or lower melodious monster from your hand or deck. You only activate one per turn. First move that first movement solo. The chances of you being in a scenario where you can activate two are like 
not happening. You cannot special summon monsters during the turn you activated except for Melodious monsters. So, the thing about Melodious cards is they all like get special effects when they're special summoned. Yep. So, you use this, you special summon Arya, and then it gets its annoying effect where you can't destroy it by battle or target card effects. Yep, and then lots of decks randomly lose to that. Yeah. And that is the only good melody. So the, the idea for it was to sit behind that thing, install for as many turns as you want to, and then do Burning Abyss stuff once they finally like, get over it. And then summon Chaos Monsters, because then you have a light in your graveyard. Maybe you should just run Dark Snake Syndrome. <laughs> I can't stop it up. Dark Bake Syndrome. <laughs> get baked. Get baked. That like a weed reference. Mm -hmm. Weed Lord 420. Pod Marijuana Bitch. <laughs> yes. Um, the Colorado bong tookers. And the last Super Bowl was the, uh, the uh, Weed Bowl, right? Weed Bowl, yeah. Denver versus Seattle. Oh, yeah. Supposedly. That, that's what people called it. Because the two states where weed was. Like Eric, what? <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> okay, we're huh? done with weed references. There's actually a guy called Tom Marowanovich. He was a sports fan. Tom Marowanovich? Todd Marowanovich. Todd Marowanovich. That's unfortunate. Good for him. Why? He was a good quarterback. That's fine. Anyways, but his last name is unfortunate. Yu-Gi-Oh. What have you been doing, Matt? Um, I, I noticed you have Tangavito Sheehan on there. Oh, oh. So I made two decks, I guess. Tangavito Sheehan was the, in the lore, was originally who becomes Sheehan mm -hmm. from Six Emeralds. Mm -hmm. You haven't been on, you haven't come to Mondays or anything. I work like every Monday. Oh, yeah. That is a fact. Technically, I get off at 11. I mean, I get off at 8 on Mondays, but I, I ain't got a power and I work at my so. This deck appears to be the randomness. Is but it not random? really. It seems like really blatantly obvious what this deck <laughs> is going to do. I yeah. mean, what's it going to do? It's, it's going to blow up your spells and traps, blow up your monsters, and then it's going to summon a chaos monster. Yep. Really? What's that? Break things. What's that one? Huh? It's a oh. evil swarm monster. I think it's when it's destroyed by battle it destroys a monster or something. I don't remember. Sure. Evil Swarm Zahak. When this monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, target one face of level 5 or higher, special summon monster, and destroy it. You know what that monster should probably be? Oh, but it's dark. I get it. Mm. I was going to say it should probably be Fancy and Fire Ferret. Mm. So I have three Breaker, three Lila, one Envoy of the Beginning, one Envoy of what, Twilight, whatever yeah. the heck this thing is? Yeah. Two Chaos Sorcerer, three Zahak, which is what we just read. Zahir! Bad core reference. Two Kaiko the Ghost Destroyer, and then 3D Prison, three Mirror Forest, one Bottomless, three no. MS. three Ego Boost, three Spellbook of Power, three Spellbook of Secrets, two Call the Haunted. What does he need MST in this? Why does he matters. need Spellbook of Secrets and Power? Secrets to get power, because these three oh, are these. all spellcasters. And so is Chaos Sorcerer. And Chaos Sorcerer, yeah. But uh, I notice you have a very low amount of light monsters. Can I you do. possibly run Envoy of Twilight? I do have a very low amount of light monsters. And the answer is, I've never gotten a chance to summon it, because I have one. <laughs> so... Somebody should make the deck. But I mean, we should have thought about it. I should have thought about it for this podcast, where you use uh, Exchange of Night and Day. Oh, the warrior one? Uh, so, it's a continuous trap. You can only activate, only use one of its effects per turn, and so you can do it once during your turn, and then once during your opponent's turn. But uh, one effect is send a light warrior from your hand to the graveyard, and add a dark warrior of the same level to your hand, and then uh, the other one is send a dark and add a light of the same level. But uh, you can yeah. use that with heroes like send Shadow Mist, add Alias, Shadow Mist, search Plasma, discard Plasma, and on your turn add BLS. Mm. Just card plasma. That's near plasma. Cause it's a little eight dark. Oh. And you can say BLS. Oh, that's good. And you, cause you just discard a shadow mist to add like alias. Mm -hmm. or, I guess no Holtix thunder. Stupid thunder. It's... That ruins me every time. Yeah. I'm like I want to run Rhoda, but Voltex. Mm hmm They knew. Yeah, they knew. But uh, that's a way to search BLS directly from your deck. That's Why is Voltex a thunder monster? Why would look at it? It's Voltic. Literally has Volt in the name. No, that's that's not a good that's not a good reason. Is there it's because the set of out? elemental heroes that it came out with were not uh, warriors. Like Heat, I'm pretty sure is a pyro. Lady hero heat. heat. Yeah, hero Heat is a fire. Um, mm -hmm. I can't remember. There's just that like set of them that are like yeah. the elemental ones. Yeah. And they're all they're uh, Wait, actual. Elemental hero Ocean is 
Warriors. Ocean is Aqua. Yeah. No, no. It's impossible. No you? Ocean. No, it's a warrior. Mmm. Mmm, yes. Mmm, yeah. I knew it. Mm, yeah. So there's heat. There's lady heat. There's Nopsy. There's Nopsy, yeah. Stupid Nopsy. Elemental hero. Poison Rose. Poison Rose is a plant. Mm, Necroshi. Heat no. is a pyro. Lady heat. Lady heat is, is a pyro. Blaze man. Voltic is thunder, and then I think that's it. And then no. not not nos nos is a plant. I I always call it Nopsy. Elemental hero blaze it. But those ones are the weird ones. They're like not heroes. Like they're like the the Jaden goes to Dream World or whatever. Yeah. And gets a bunch of random things. What is Elemental hero Necroid shaman? Necroid Shaman. He attacks directly. Oh no. no. Well, I need to see the pictures, I remember. This one. There he is. Dark. Oh, does he destroy stuff? Target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy that target and special summon one monster from your opponent's graveyard to their side of the field. Yeah, what? Bad. What? That's funny. Oh, when it's special summoned. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I got 1900 attack. <laughs> I remember all these like bad level zero fusions using two no. monsters you don't want to run. No. So that was that was break things and the other deck oh, that I made was Wild at Heart. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the point of this deck, Kyle? Quick. I don't care oh what I he, doesn't, he goes in the battle phase and everything stops. <laughs> really? Pretty well, much. I have three Wild Heart which is unaffected by what's traps. The boost? Huh? Three boost your monster by thousand. Which is unaffected by traps. And then I have Majesty's Fiend, because which why not? monster effects cannot be activated. Man, the, you just didn't want to think while you were doing it. <laughs> <That's exactly laughs> I want to see you duel with this deck and why? win. Is, there's no thought. Uh, you you can't win with this deck. Yes, you can. Why not? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I have a replay where I won with this deck. <laughs> well, during the break, I want to see this. Okay. And we'll, we'll comment about it. Okay. Um, and then Rotos, Upstart Goblins, Dualities to, like, reduce the amount of... Is Tekken Ashi in the water? No, she, it's I a thought it's a pyro. Yeah, I was like, yeah. literally Rotos uh, just for Wild Heart. Just for Wild Heart. <laughs> I got, got Axe <laughs> of Despair to get that Wild Heart to really? Axe people. Mm. Really? <laughs> I remember that one time you almost lost a kid who had Axe of Despair in his deck. <laughs> How could you remember that? Huh? Didn't he summon, like, a vanilla monster that 19? Like, Andal? And he just mm. equipped it with Axe of Despair and attacked over something that was like it's meaningful. And you're like, what? nine hundred, man. Oh, he attacked over your Christian. You summoned a Christian. You thought you had won. And he just immediately on his turn. Oh yeah, that was that, that was that Phoenix, right? And because you had yeah, lost no. a bunch, and you were at the, like the bottom table, and you almost lost. Oh no, I don't know. Uh, I, think I just heard about it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was back when I, was, I didn't lose a bunch. I lost like one round, mm -hmm. and then I went down. There. Yeah, and you were at the bottom table though, but and you yeah. almost lost a kid running. Then I went back. I think I went three and one. I think four mm -hmm. one. I think I'm a, I think that was the one like one of the two times I put like a regional board on the website for that. In fact Ooh. I did. So we should like look it up. Oh, yeah, there's a YCS coming up. Yep. Next month or something. Yep. I'll talk about it. It's another one of those YCS is another one it? of those. Uh, it's not like any of them. Yeah. It's just one of those tournaments that you go to and you have no idea what's gonna happen because everything comes out like the day before. Mm -hmm. Literally the day before mm -hmm. cards come out and they're mm -hmm. legal. What cards? Like the Necroz pack, the like special one. There, this is a sp oh, that's right. It's in like a hidden arsenal type pack. Right. That's and it just comes out right before, and it's legal. And we just got like heroes. Nobody knows how to play against heroes, even if they're not that like, like spectacular. You want to pay? I mean, you want to pay the ultimate price to play Necroz? I, <laughs> I mean, you're gonna have such a huge advantage going into that tournament with that deck. Especially if you've been playing it for a while. Yeah, and nobody knows what's going on. Mm -hmm. Like you'll beat players who are really good because they work. don't understand it. Huh? How's that deck work? You ritual summon and you're the jerk. <laughs> See, I don't even know. <laughs> you got a biggest ticket? Um, no, I'm oh. pretty sure they've used Unicor a lot. Unicor like negates special summon monsters effects level four ritual, and they like to ritual summon with the uh, Dijin. They usually mm -hmm. run like one. No, so then they like turn one that thing, they get special summons, and then they ritual with, with all the three that prevent special summoning. Oh. And then them. all of them are hand traps, so it's really hard to remove it from the field because the hand trap ones just like prevent everything from killing the Unicor. That is their like their first strategy is that. Then everything kind of floats. Because the ritual spells literally just add another ritual spell to your hand That's when you have no monsters in the field. That's great. 
<laughs> and, and then they run three Trishula, so which is literally just Trishula. So I mean, is that good or what? Uh, how's the, how they how do they do this about that? Do it well. Uh -huh. So they they can squeeze in there and be tier one with all the other people. Sure. sure. I've never played <laughs> against it because no, I've never like gone online and had somebody use it. I don't know if I have, maybe you have done it like once. Cloth. Maybe a long time ago when I didn't. I think it's any. Yeah. Well, maybe not. What? They're under different names. You Sarah Exa, the flame beast neck cloth. Neck cloth. Yeah. Their neck cloth on the Shrit. Little shrit. <laughs> <laughs> and they have stuff like this that's just like, why would they do that? Where it's like, it can be used as the whole ritual, and then when it's tributed, good things happen. They shouldn't do stuff. Ooh, like that. warrior type neck cloth ritual monster can be decked to your head. Whoa. What's the Ooh. point of that? Good. That yeah. totally, like. Oh, yeah, this. this you can it defeats summon... the purpose of the ritual portion of the deck. It literally, oh, the tribute in is like meaningless. Wait, the, the ritual of monsters can. I mean, the ritual of spell cards can summon multiple rituals. Spell... One of them can summon as many as you want. <laughs> one of them uses monsters in your graveyard as material. Mm -hmm. and then one uses monsters from your extra deck. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Okay. So they have pretty much just like, we're not actually a ritual deck despite the fact that it is. That's... Speak not its name anymore. <laughs> And then uh, they all have like weird banishy effects too, I believe. Great. Really are you just going to duel with this? No. Wait, so, yeah, you will. <laughs> wait, so Matt, are you going to that refill? Um, no comment. Yeah. X Kaleido mirror. Woo! Yeah, wait. There's another mirror. But it's, well, look under Neck Graz. Your mom. You're missing some. <laughs> okay, yeah. Don't use Sephira doo doo. Yeah, Necros Cycle. Mm. Ooh, the cycle. Let's see how many duels you can win with this. Uh, you need extra deck monsters, though. Do you want salvage? I don't think you want salvage. Uh, you need extra deck monsters because one of the ritual spells uses your monsters from your extra deck. Mm. I know that you need at least that one stupid one. Herald. Herald of... Oh. Herald of Rainbow Get Free Light. Stuff. Yeah, Herald of Arc Light. Because then you, if you ritual... Uh, Using your extra deck, let's say you summon an eight. I think that's like Valkyrius. That's not gonna work. Uh, you'll send two arc lights from your extra deck to the graveyard, and then arc light will add a ritual monster, which will spell from your deck to your hand. Yeah. So literally, you activate it. You summon a level eight that has twenty nine, I believe, and then you get to search your deck for two ritual things. Mm -hmm. That's not cool at all. It's just like things that they made blatantly on purpose that were good. Uh, that blue, those blue cards. That's really good. <laughs> that reminded me of in stick. Pokemon. Stick sticks. I was watching a guy on YouTube, and then uh, he was playing, and then when when he was paralyzing people, he'd say, "I'll hit him up with that yellow color," because okay. it would put like this yellow para on the name. Uh, he's like, "I oh, hit him up with that yellow color," and he's like, "Ah, oh, I got him." <laughs> got him. I just think that that sounds funny. Hit him up with that yellow color. Should we move on? No, Kyle, what have you been doing? What have I been doing? What has your deck been? Um, I raid uh, a funny ultra athlete deck. It loses <laughs> anything <laughs> legitimate. You lost so bad. It, it, but you <laughs> won so hard. I don't, I don't understand. When it wins, it wins. When it doesn't win, nothing happens. Like, it does nothing when it loses. A lot of nothing. The double power jersey. Oh, uh, yeah, double power jersey for me. <laughs> I was playing a lot of Glider Beasts. That's a really frustrating deck to play online, Why? because like you play anyone up there. I did that one, but uh, every time you play anybody who's in meta and you're running Glad Beast, it is just so frustrating that their decks are just so much better than your deck. Mm -hmm. There's just nothing you can do about it. Like, I was playing against uh, Clifford, just like I can do nothing about this. I can do nothing. I was I I would go guys, Zorus, blow up your field, tag out, blow up the rest of your field, and then we'll set four. And then one of them is, uh, one okay. of them is Warchair, and then they go just like, oh, activate Scout, and I'm like, oh, I don't got the MST. <laughs> and then, like, they get the other pendulum, they pendulum it all back, and they tribute for stealth, bounce my monster, I can't activate War Chariot, and then they destroy my soul's trap. Like, that's so stupid, I can't, literally, I can do nothing. That is not fair. Where's the gun? There was nowhere for you to go. I you absolutely despise scout? that card. You no. War Chariot Scout? No, it's a spell. I, actually, I absolutely despise that they made stealth. I mean, it's it's not like it's super unfair, 
But just the idea of them banning Super Poly and immediately making a card you cannot chain to. Like, so we always have to have one legal card that's not fair that you can't chain to. Mm-hmm. You know what you're doing, man? What? No, he has no idea what he's doing. But Clifford Stealth is when it's tribute summoned by tributing Klee Monsters, I believe. You target a card in the field, return it to the hand, and it cannot be chained to. And so if you tribute Helix or Carrier, Helix and Carrier both have effects when they're tributed. Mm. So you can go like, if you tribute one of each, then you just target a spell trap to destroy, target a monster to return to the hand, and a stealth will be chain like three, target a card to return to the hand, and then they can't chain. Mm. Ooh, Booger Knight! That's so not cool. You don't just summon That's so Booger Knight, what a baddie. Like, on top of the fact that you already couldn't interact with Clifford's at all, now you literally cannot interact with their play. Yeah. That's but so not cool. I would say he doesn't know what he's doing. I didn't mean It's a visual card. spell. You probably just activated it. <laughs> okay. Maybe. And now Matt's dueling on this screen as we'll continue speaking. But Glad Beasts are just not as good as other decks. Quit. <laughs> yeah, they don't have a lot of things that, that new decks do in the fact that Gladiator Beast capitalized on the fact that your opponent won't be able to it's regain resources by you trying to get rid of their resources. Yeah, right. so they, that wasn't a thing. they simplify the game using their monster effects. So they use, they, they maintain the same amount of resources at all times while lowering your number. Mm. That's like their main strategy. Okay, so imagine the Gladiator Beast in your deck like actually exists. And they're like in this like dual world and they're like they're talking to themselves as you're like doing with them and they're like saying our sages did not predict this and the far future monsters would attack us from the null zone summon from the ether come out and we cannot do anything about it where are they coming from how can we prepare and they just they just pend on summoning themselves it's like yeah. what's going on what is this? <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, pretty much. But what was it? Oh, yeah. I it's mean, tough. sometimes, spe- specifically against Cliff Wards, there was, like, no in the way for me to do anything. And the just sitting there, and the Cliff Wards, like, smash into the war chair and, like, drive over it. And the war chair can't have to do Yeah. But what are you going to let out? What else do they do? Oh, yeah, God Bees, like, maintain their spell and traps permanently. So you never run out of the spell and traps you have. As long as the God Bees can. I thought that one summon. <laughs> What's going on? What does that one even do? <laughs> that one didn't think it's effect of the spell of Steve Steep Prison? Mirror Force. I don't know. Uh, what does Trashula do? I think it negates cards that target. No. I think you can discard. Yeah, you can just discard and negate this. That's retarded. Cool. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. I don't know that one. I don't even know what these cards do, man. You're just activate. If it prompts you to activate, <laughs> you might as well. Yeah. Um, so, to provide a little bit of background, Matt stuffed a bunch of Necklock cards into a deck without reading them, three of every single one, and now he's dueling somebody with it, and he's pretty much, whenever like he gets popped to activate something, he's going to. Well, I mean, they, they are actually watching this, because you haven't been here. So this, this video feed will be on the YouTube. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, cute. Oh, okay. Mm. Was it worth it? Maybe. But, um... Quick, activate something in your game right Maybe it's to maybe be able to activate Rick as well. But, uh... <laughs> what does that do? Yeah, it's another ritual spell. Gosh. Okay, back on topic. And then I've been running Shadol's, and I've been trying to, like, theorize a way to do Shadol heroes. Because, uh, I want to use Mass Change 2 on hero monsters to summon Darkloth. Because I don't want to run heroes to summon Darkloth. Yeah, neither do I. It seems but, like they're kind of, like, splash. But then at the same time, I want to run, like, this mini, minimal hero engine. I have it, like, right here on mine, I think. The, like the build that I was like maybe I don't remember what I called it. This has been raped and pillaged. Maybe under S. Oh, you're from Thank you. I don't remember. The burn. Burn. What manner of sorcery is this? Oh well. Either <laughs> way, either way, you could use a dark. Miss Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist has this, like synergy with the deck already. You don't have to lose the purity of the X Sabers with these rattles. What do you mean? Bear. He probably just runs one Tenty. bear. He probably runs one bear. The, bl- the pure sh- proud bloodline X Sabers is tarnished by this. Okay. This fill. Okay. Well, you can run Tenki without the bear. Tenki can search Bogard Knight and Raggy. When since when have X Sabers needed to dance to gain power? <laughs> Uh, they done. simply I need to answer the call. <laughs> the emergency call. God of the emergency call. 
God of the Second Call. Just listen to God and you'll be fine pretty much. That's the best message I think you need to take away from this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So, you were making a hero deck. Was I? Oh, <laughs> I guess so. Before you got to Well, I finished talking about that. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess what I can continue on? to... Oh, he warning. Yeah, that too. But, um... What was it? No, like... Light, because you always just have to have some light monster mm -hmm. version I was just going to Neos Alias. How expensive do you think this deck is going to be? This deck? Probably not very expensive. Really? Probably can't reach all something like that, yes. Activate Brownick. No! I didn't know you could have. What does that even do? Oh no. <laughs> it searches. Uh, grab another. Why pack. did the ritual monster oh, have a. Get the, is there a 9? Is that 9? Get Trishnula. The, the neckcloth of decisive arms? <laughs> <laughs> the neckcloth of a monster. Ritual summon a machine? That's never happened before. Are you sure about that? Yeah, there's no machine ritual monster. I'm His neck? To, I'm going to win this. Decisive arms is a fusion monster. It is? Yeah. Decisive arms is... a horrible... No, it's, no, it's, it's a, a synchro, synchro monster. monster. Oh, it's a synchro, that's what I meant, yeah. I'm going to win this. I didn't say there was, huh? So, we won our first. Next Zero. Next duel. Just want to let you guys know on okay. the podcast. What me. happened just now? Did I you won. Quit? I won. You quit. No, I well, won. you summoned a Jashula and he quit. You and didn't was... know what you were doing. No, I didn't know what you were doing. I, I, I know how to play cards. Okay, I told you him that Bionic had an effect. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. okay. Well, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with some news. We'll make you I have a little bit of news. Be uh, okay, before we go on break, because it's like literally being handed to you all at the same time on a silver plate. It's like making X sabers out of a hidden arsenal. Like the best, the best of these sure. monsters will probably be maybe thirty bucks if they're really, really hard to get. Maybe not. Yeah. But then I don't, I don't feel like that'll be the case because this pack is going to get bought, mm -hmm. so it's not going to be like. What was the the one that had Lava Chain and Dice Emerald? That one, where those were the only cards in the pack. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be like that, where those ended up being was it like forty, fifty right now? Yeah. Probably not that much anymore. I don't want but to. it's just because those are the only cards in the pack. Yeah, and everybody could use those. There's like four different meta decks plus a bunch of stuff. So hopefully not that everybody will want this, and it'll still be everybody's gonna want this. Reasonable. I can go on this. You're not everybody. I like blue oh, good monsters. Point. I like ice. Hit him up with that blue color. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a break. Take them muddy the water. And we're back. And we sub back. <laughs> Jar Jar says so. A um, little bit of news. So as I said, the first bit of news, Hero Strikes Structure Jack today has come out. It's dropping today. It got dropped. The 29th. Yes. Or maybe... No, definitely the 30th. The 30th? Oh, it's in Europe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it drops tomorrow? Yeah. It drops tomorrow. Which will be hilarious, because I work okay. tomorrow. What's the day? Today's the 29th. Okay, so mm. And then uh, other bit of news is the uh, Zexal Volume 9, not 9, 6, uh, comes out in America on February 3rd, which is like... Shovelwood? No. That's in a next Tuesday. That's in one, two, three, four, five days, and it comes with number fifty-two, Diamond Crab King. Oh yeah, Diamond Crab King. Uh, yeah, I wanted this. What the hell are you doing? It's a rank four Xyz, zero attack, three thousand defense, crab. rock, two level fours is what it requires. Mr. Crab. Once per turn, detach an Xyz from. Exceed material from his cards, change this card's defense to zero, and if you do, it's attacked to 3,000. These changes last until the end of the turn. If this card attacks, it is changed to defense position at the end of the battle phase. If this card is attack, attacked, uh, change it to attack position at the end of the damage step if it has no Exceed material. You can only control one Diamond Crab King. Because you can flip the crab over, and then you kill it. Hit its weak points for massive damage. Uh, that then it is can the attack its show. weak point for massive damage. And it has the same gems as gem flash energy. You didn't have to do that. 
it didn't happen. Nobody, I didn't ask you to do that. You just well, you wanted did to, something. didn't you want to know how to defeat it? I just, you just did something I didn't ask you to do. <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Sony must always remember their failures. Yeah. Oh, but, uh, that wasn't a failure, that was a triumph, as Joe would say. That was a great marketing strategy that they had there. Put out somebody incompetent. Mm -hmm. So smart. Um, <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Put out somebody incompetent? It was a great idea. They got so much PR. From that incompetence? It was bad. All bad. But they got a lot of it. There's no <laughs> such thing as bad PR. Not true. Rebirth 2. Oh. Continue. Yeah. They're seeing what this is. Oh, they're just telling you the blah blah. The divine. Oh, and then you can get element of your core. I forgot about that. Core? Oh, how do you get it? By subscribing. I think. Oh, the subscribers will receive the core. What does element of your core do? As I'm sure. Hero core. Like, you know? Oh, he is a level nine fusion, requiring three element of hero monsters. What does he Must look like? be fusion does summoned. He looks like yes. He looks like a hero man. <laughs> if you know who that is. Hero man Tiga. Is that what he is called? No, there's just a there's a guy called Hero Man. It was made by I was gonna say Jeff Jones, but uh, no, that's that guy who makes like all the Marvel comics. Oh, it is not T Guy. It's like this guy. That's not what I was thinking. Just type in like Hero Man. Hero Man. Oh well. No. I need a T. You did. That's the one thing I hate when I'm Google searching. Auto complete. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Okay. That thing. This thing. I figured. Yeah. It was made. Oh, yeah, Stan Lee. He wrote that one. Oh, no. He yeah, wrote Stan Lee yeah. made mangas. Good for him. Uh, but, Core. Once per turn, when this card is targeted for an attack, like never, you can double this card's attack until the end of the damage step. Woo! So never gonna attack this. Don't attack this. At the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, target a monster on the field and destroy it. When this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, target a level 8 or lower element of hero fusion in your graveyard, special summon it, ignoring the summoning conditions. Oh, oh. so it gives Dump heroes from the graveyard. a That's nice. That's dumb from the graveyard. And naturally, he's level 9, so he can't bring himself back, mm -hmm. all Colossal Fighter style. Mm -hmm. No. Quake, dump. Wait, Colossal Fighter can't Kill. bring himself back? He can. Kill Dogra. Uh, but I mean, like, if this card was 8, he could bring himself back. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah, 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 I see what you mean. Kill Dogra. Kill Dogra. Right here. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at that. Oh, yeah, I, one thing I hate playing We're people online who go first, open Gale Dagra, send to Herald of whatever Arc Light, and then add uh, Herald of Ultimateness and a ritual spell to a hand, summon it, and then play uh, Dark Factory, and then they I'm like, come on, man, this is your like one out of every two duels that you win. I don't want to play you. Like, that's so dumb. I know, I'm saying Gale Dogra, dump, silly fusion, and then win with Kord, had you summoned somehow? No, Kord is really easy to summon. Okay. Three element of heroes in the grave, play Miracle Fusion. That's one, yeah, that's one card trooper and a Miracle Fusion away from happening. That's so easy. If you're running any hero deck, you might as well run one. I know, and then Gale Dogra, dump. No. Dump the, dump the goods. No. Dump, uh, absolute I'll zero. Oh, you mean a fusion to bring back with it? Yeah. Dump the absolute zero and, uh, what's it called? Uh, the light one. You know what it is. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rank 4 that they should have made. That they revealed. It was in the next pack called Crossover Souls. Um, it's a monster called... Planeteller Knight with Ptolemyos. Because you know. Planeteller Knight? Yeah. Ptolemyos. Mm. So. And when it loads, I'll read its effect. Naruto and is finally done. Yeah, I know it ended. Isn't that what? weird? Naruto yeah. ended. What? Yeah, you didn't know that? that it was a while ago. It actually. ended a while ago. What? Wow. And I've read every hair raising. It ended the only way it could. Did they kill each other? No. No. Yeah, well, everybody ended up with whatever you thought they would and whatever. I could spoil it during the break if you want me to. No, I really don't want that to happen. I could tell you. I don't want to know anything. Naruto and Sasuke used that? Fusion Pa, became one, and then they no. defeated, uh, what's his name, that pink Boo. They defeated Boo. No. And, uh, was I wrong? Wait, so... 
actually going to read Naruto at one point or watch it. Oh, yeah. watch it, yeah. He will be waiting a long time for this. That's fine. Uh, let's actually plan it. Like, not plan that. Oh my gosh. And night is the one word with it. There you go. Oh, plan and teller. Is this the thing go that go. Mr. Master Dia bound? It's like akin to? You, yeah, you never talked about that. You talked yeah, about I was going to tell you. Oh, it opened my mind finally. Okay, Planeteller Knight, but I wanted an instant yours. Awesome. It's a rank four that requires two or more level fours. Okay. Mm. Literally, its effect is completely meaningless. I mean, it's a fine effect, but literally at this point, it's completely meaningless because it's a double rank four for any archetype that has Teller Knight in the name, which means you can summon it and literally just plop Diamond on it. Okay. And Diamond is a card that should never be allowed to be plopped. And we don't know what diamond is yet. We already have diamond. Master D about And Stellar Knight Diamond. Let's tell it just him. came out in this pack. Let's tell him about it. Read all about it. Okay. And Stellar Knight Diamond is during your main phase two, you can also exe summon this card by using a Teller Knight Xyz you control as Xyz materials. It's, it's it's Stellar Knight Constellar Diamond. No, it's Constellar Knight Diamond. No. Oh yeah, I know. It's the Teller Knight Constellar Diamond. That's a terrible name. Why didn't they just do Constellar Knight? They did it so it's both of them. It is both of them <laughs> either way, and the other way is infinitely better. But uh, so you pop it. Now, right now, the only way to plop this is to summon Constellar Knight Trivel or uh, other one that are triple rank fours. But why would you pop them? Because this card is retarded good. So let's read what this card does. Uh, while this card has Xyz material, oops. Um, during Either player can phase. send. Oh, sorry, that was the plopping effect. Yeah, well, <laughs> during your main phase, okay. you can yeah. summon this card by using a Teller Knight Xyz launcher. You control its material, except itself. And while this card has Xyz material, neither player can send cards from the deck to the graveyard. And any card that returns from the graveyard to the hand is banished instead. During either player's turn, when, a, when an opponent's dark monster activates its effect, you can detach one material from this card. Negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Okay, so stop right there. Basically, First this card all, says if you're running Burning Abyss, or you're running Shadows, and you're running Satellite Knights, it's okay, because this card negates their entire deck. Mm. So literally, they just, they literally just was like, okay, oh. Satellite Knights had this problem where if they, they had to go in the extra deck against Shadows, so we'll just make an extra deck monster that says you can't fusion from the deck, pretty much. Mm. That's literally what they did. And then they're like, oh, then their only other out is the set monster, so let's just have them negate every Shadol flip effect. They need to know that what's a clever knight. Let's give it to them. Okay, what does it require? For two or four. <laughs> and then, like, literally, it's like, okay, that's, I guess that's fine, because it's difficult to make a triple rank four. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. e against the good decks, even if that deck's purpose is to summon one, it's difficult against a good deck. So let's give them a double rank four. And that's what people just assume they wouldn't because it's a bad idea, and then they just make this one. It's a double rank four for any deck. Any <laughs> deck. It, <laughs> at, le at the bare minimum, should say two Satellar Knights. Mm. But it's any deck, so literally I could just be running Heroes. I could be running... I could, I could be running Melodious. I could, really, I could be running Shadows. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you just make this against Shadows slash Burning Abyss and just put the other guy it's on top. nasty in the mirror. That's like really, <laughs> really bad for the meta. Because li here. they can't do anything except ban one of these two cards, or Dark Monsters are like essentially obliterated from the game. I mean, when, actually, I don't think it's yeah. that bad. This is that's the worst like assassination of the meta. That's that's so not good for the game. For them just to eliminate things just at their whim. Is that what you wanted? No. Like I don't even. Okay, I don't want diamond. You have three meta decks now. Let's destroy two of them. Let's destroy them. And future decks permanently until they make like that extra deck, that dark deck that has the card that has forced obliterate this. And We're done. That's with like that's dark such bad striker. card design. Please look forward to the light monster deck. That's so. That's like the worst way to design cards. It and makes what's going to happen happy. now is that they. What well, I'm mean, assuming do? we ever get design this ever. cards effectively. No, I mean, I mean to like nerf the top deck. Huh? They should legit, they should just hit them and start over. That's my opinion. I know they're not going to do anything. This doesn't nerf the top decks. Uh, it just makes this deck. This just makes every deck that can summon rank fours, which is practically everything. This makes running them not as viable. Oh yeah. well, I mean, and even then, it just makes any deck that can summon those just go instant. That. No, you just don't let them summon. It doesn't work. You can't just like that's like playing against your duels and saying just don't let them fusion summon. That's not possible. It's just literally that's just not possible. That's. 
It's the same thing as when people are like, just don't let them play scout. It's not. That's not the. That's not the same thing at all. It is exactly. No, it's not. Why? For one thing, they have to summon the. When soon as you see them rank, for, I mean, uh, exceed for the teller and anything, you know what's coming. So just do something about it. So just do something. As soon as they play Shadow Fusion, just do something about it. That's not. That's, that's not the same comparison because we're talking about one monster, and if you're talking about every single Shadow Fusion possible, and it's way easier to make Shadow like, Fusions than this mm -hmm. exceed for rank four. Mm -hmm. Debatable. That no, it's not. Yes, it is. Was infinitely yeah. or four different ways to. Do. It's harder. There's to... literally three ways. One is unviable, and then they're always you know exactly what they're doing every time they activate your old fusion. Except for when you go go from you can't exceed from the hand. You can fusion from the hand. Okay, it's literally there is rank they four decks, and it is monsters. almost impossible to stop them from just summoning rank fours. Like so, let's let's say Satellar Knights. Are you going to play a duel and they're not going to summon a rank four on you? There's like no way. Even if they're running all the traps in the world, they're going to get it out eventually. Why not ask yourself why do they get it out? Because it's really easy to summon rank wars. Incitella. Incitella Okay, I'll let Wolf Bark. There's another card that's really easy. You're just going to make rank wars and burn a fire fist. It's just going to happen. I, you're just telling me that it's like really difficult and stoppable to summon rank Rank wars are the easiest thing ever. How about this? It is easier to stop a rank four than it is to stop Shadow Fusion. Yeah. That's unfair. I think that's debatable. You think so? Yeah. I think it's more de like I mean to stop a deck stop from a summoning to stop one rank four from being summoned, mm -hmm. that is easier than stopping one Shadow Fusion. But stopping a rank four deck from ever summoning rank four and stopping a Shadow deck from fusioning, it's but way harder they're gonna to be stop the rank four. Deck. Their mm -hmm. extra deck with Three copies of this dumb Teller Knight and three I diamonds. Think, why wouldn't I'd some? I'd run at least two. If Dark is meta, you're running two of this and two diamond. Why wouldn't you? Oh man! It has 2,700 so attack and negates every Dark monster. <laughs> That's insane. That is not fair. Yes. Like the best rank fours are like really really low. The best one is 2,000 attack and one time use. That is the best rank four. And now there's this one that has 2,700 attack three time use and has a floodgate effect built in. That is like the best thing ever. And it's like generic. That's insane. Uh, it is. It has like, Have you ever okay. Have you played with Shadows or Burning Abyss and had them summon this on you? There's no you can't do anything about this. You literally cannot do anything. You either have to have the out now or the game is over. It's like vulnerable to like every single type of removal in the game. Oh darn. Like, dark you're gonna, not broken. You're me, like, we were, were we just earlier just talking about how easy it is to like get rid of dark lock because it's like has no protection. It's like the same thing, except for easy. Except it was summoned with one card. There's there's a difference though. What with, do you mean one card? With dark law, that does not have a specific application. That has a general application. You summon dark law, and you're not you're not summoning it to do something. You're summoning it to have it sit there. With this. You don't need to summon this against anything and other it than a dark. Does deck. have an effect that protects itself because yeah. it negates dark monsters. And against a dark deck, their best, the most optimal way to toolbox in a deck is with monsters, because you cannot toolbox spells and traps in almost. All right, let's most think decks. of like. So like, if you're running ghost tricks and then you try to do like anything with okay. ghost tricks, this negates every single thing. That you let's not talk about ghost tricks. <laughs> <laughs> so the, what would you say? Against like a dark law, let's say you're, you're playing Shadows and you're facing a dark law. What's the top three ways that you would get rid of dark law in your deck? Shadow vision, or setting a monster. Those are the best ways. Or top deck, or just draw into card that takes Construct. control of it. Yeah. Construct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're telling me you can't make while well, this is on the field, you can't make construct. You. No, it's really hard. You have to have a fusion card, a light monster, and a shadow in your hand. Because you cannot use shadow vision from the deck because cards cannot be sent from the deck to the graveyard. And then any monster, anything you send with the fusion will be negated. And then it, if like anything happens, and they're, they're running Satellar Knights at this point, they are, so they have an infinite number of cards in their back or this. Because this was summoned with like nothing in that deck. I literally just went neg two to summon a construct, and now if they, if they deprison, the game is over. I've used three cards to get trade with a deprison. Right? <laughs> Oh, too bad. That is, and that's the only out in your deck. That'll work for your, your like, your advantage for once in your life. That's a shit old player. Okay. No. 
So this, that's the just top, bad for the, the game. The top decks are just like a bunch of infinite advantage generating machines like grinding against each other until one just I'm not like saying that it's not out. okay. Like it's bad that the other decks infinite, like make all this advantage. I'm just saying that this, just, something that this card game. just says <laughs> this card just says you can't run dark decks. No, you can still run dark decks. You just have to Name a dark deck that can get around this very easily. Okay, run more back row to get around it then. Change your build. Evolve. I the guess. Data. I would rather just not run that deck and run You'd this rather deck. things that oppose <laughs> you just not exist and just have to... That's what you do thing. in Yu-Gi-Oh! When there's something so viable that immediately stops your deck, you stop running it. Or you adapt. Because that deck is better. Okay, that's how the meta has evolved for like the last record. I know. But that's bad. This is like a bad example of how to make cards. It's bad, but is it a surprise? No. Uh, I wasn't. I was hoping they wouldn't do this because they like went out of their way to make this difficult to summon, and then they literally the next set to say it's not difficult. Mm -hmm. They've been releasing like ridiculous monsters for like the last forever. This isn't like there's like powerful monsters, but there isn't like this says you can't run decks like certain decks. This is like Ophion style, like oh we're making Ophion, and then when Ophion came out, like half of the decks in Yu-Gi-Oh were just like you can't run those. Okay, no. And then this one just says, I just don't run dark decks anymore. Stop. Or run more removal. I don't think you can't, you can't run. run you still can't run traps. Have, like problem with this. You think there's like a bunch of ways. Phoenix Wing or bust, pretty much. Karmica. They don't. People don't run. Yeah, I mean, they can. They don't. Not gonna run. You can't run a bunch of traps because then you can't special summon them for again. That's just how it works. No. I mean, you can say all the... That's like those people who are like, because you can say a card that answers it doesn't mean it's viable. But they weren't running it before. They are now. I guess. Well, this is in the next pack. I just... I do not appreciate this kind of card design. Uh, I think you, this is like... This is... You're being like a shock go. Okay. We'll, we'll see what happens you're when that comes out, and we'll see how many decks that run rank fours just survive. plot this all the time. Survive. Dark decks will. I mean, I'm going to keep playing, because it's not like I just won't run a dark deck. Because that won't be a good idea. Are you telling me that this card single-handedly makes all the other trashy, non-dark, non-tier <laughs> one decks suddenly viable and better options? Than no, I'm just saying that any like reasonable deck that summons rank fours will make sure that dark decks don't exist. I don't know. Well, so, think about that's what I think is. Or if if you have a problem with it, then I don't know. Like your side deck will obviously change once this comes out. The side deck is like completely irrelevant. The side deck is something that allows you to be better at matchups that you're horrible against because of things like this. Okay, that's what it's for. To that's know, what it's for. Like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't run light in the prison or something. That doesn't negate continuous effects, but yeah, it doesn't. No, it negates effects that activate. This effect activates. That one, yeah, it can negate that effect. The one. That the negating dark knows. one, yeah. But then again, Light Imprisoning Mirror would be good against... It'd be good against Satellar Knights, Knights, but, but what if they're running not Satellar Knights and they summon this? Are you going to sign in Light Mirror just for that? No. Exactly. Just summon literally any type of destruction. Or okay. Removal. I mean, that's just like, like a... That's like a I ha that, then it's like, literally, I'm going to lose unless I draw into, like, my four or five cards I'm side decking in. Like, okay... The deck that main deck skill drain, oh no, I'm going to lose unless I draw into my MSTs and like other spell trap destructions. Did I, have I not said I think skill drain is a very bad card for the game? You just like, that's just what I already think. The other thing that's interesting... You're being like, I don't know, it's not like... I already think that skill drain is a terrible card for that same reason. You're like, acting like this is like the worst thing in my world. I don't think it's good. I don't, You're doing what I would do. Okay. Just like hyping up something. <laughs> I just think it. I just think it's so bad. It's it's very influential. That's why I think. Uh, what's what's the other thing? It's like Burning Abyss can't run this card, right? They don't summon rank fours. Yeah, it's like impossible. Shed Shadows can Shadow summon rank fours. Yeah. Awkward. Oh gosh, what? If, like, we're gonna get like Noden right before this. Noden's for everybody to summon this. That's so stupid. Noden is a bad card for other God, reasons. I hate Noden. So Noden is so bad. Noden is an infusion monster that just revives another monster. Okay. Oh, we're getting that really soon. Oh, that's some other news. I don't remember what that's called, I'm though. I need that. Maybe. Uh, yes. You're gonna, if you're going to play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, you need a Noden. Like, every deck, mains of Instant Fusion, once that card comes out. Really? Yeah, I got limited to one in Japan, Instant Fusion. You know what Noden does, right? Yeah. I will actually, if you guys, if you we're looking at Noden does, Noden. 
I don't know. Elder, Elder, Elder God Noden. Whatever. It'll, it'll give it to me. There's only one. My internet is. Uh huh. Went <laughs> straight to it. It's like Odin, except for no. It's like it's Noden. Poseidon. It's like with more Poseidon, you know. Yeah. It's um, no no Nidon. <laughs> okay. Fairy fusion level four, two thousand attack, twenty two hundred defense. So it's an instant fusion target. When it's special summoned, any time it's special summoned, you can target one level four or lower monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but its effects are negated. When this card leaves the field, banish that target. What's the big deal? Instant fusion exists for level four. <laughs> call the haunter. Literally, do not normal summon, four. make a rest <laughs> four for a thousand life points just in the middle of your... That's not cool. Okay, we might have a problem. That's <laughs> April, April 17th is when we'll get that. In a pack called World Superstars. It's like everything was fine until they randomly summoned Noden and got it. We might have a problem. <laughs> yeah, I was playing a guy online and he's like doing all this like synchron plays and then I like I stop him and then he's just like, oh, it's a few. I was like, <sighs> It's just and he just so like brings different. out this, Never brings back it. a junk scene, and I'm like, no, mm. no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, one card block. Yeah. yeah, it's one card like everything. Well, one card diamond. Yeah, I was like, that's why I was saying we might have a problem. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's that's a card you can just side. You can side instant fusion and just like your dark. You can, no, insane. you're gonna main instant fusion, and right. then everybody can summon. I was being too conservative. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. There's right. another, oh, we get the, like the we already talked about this last week, but we get like Nabra Disc, Blaze Man, and other random cards. Said in this before, pack. usually I'm the like, good pack. I want this pack. I'm like into the sky. I want Noden. Sky is falling like uh, proclamations, but what's that pack called? Uh, World Superstars. Now, now it's me, I guess. Kyle might be justified. The sky the, the sky the fell in Japan when Noden came out, so that we have no reason to expect any less. Paying a thousand life points, one card you can run free of that's just an instant with like minimal setup, just an instant diamond. An instant answer to uh, everything. So, like, oh, you're running a dark deck, sir? So, I'm just gonna ignore everything that you're doing but over the, there. But the problem is with that is that's yeah. not the only, it's one card, no one card should have that much versatility. No, 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 is a bigger problem than diamond, whatever guy. But, yeah, like, literally, He's like, oh, my plays have all failed, pay a thousand life points to do so many things that can all end you, like. Open a magical cup of like instant toolboxing. You can just play a bunch of cards and then have them all fail and then make an exit on night. Yeah. Mm. When all else fails, here comes the magical mystery box. Yeah. It's like a, it's a, a forgiving soul you don't want in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like another soul turn. Got a really good feel. 8,000 to make. Night. Bring back like like two fours. Here comes mm -hmm. diamond. <sighs> Got another really good field. Here comes Black Rose if I already used my stomach. Yeah. Or just cast all that car away. I'm tired of it. Yeah, the magical tool? Literally, it, beca it can just be a Foolish Burial because you can just make Lobble Chain. Oh, yeah. Oh, Foolish Burial. There we go. That's a versatility right there. There you go. Oh, gosh. I need Power of Avarice. Quick. Make Die Gust Steel Emerald. Instant fusion for that like little plus one right when there. When this deck comes... T I mean, when this these cards come out, I foresee Volcanic Steel I don't. Why not? Because every deck will get infinitely better because they know this. Not just that. We all get better together. We all get better together, <laughs> but the better decks get way better. Because now on top of you have to be wars. Yeah. Well, in Japan, that, that's like one of their like deal was for a while. Oh, just Noden. Noden shuttles. Okay. Always just first thing you do is send your Squamata and then you're cool. You're gold. This is a thing. Your first turn, uh, your first turn. Oh, that's some weird that dice that master you know, series one. one. I don't know. But uh, that that will be a problem. And then well, now we're going to take a break. And we'll be back with the actual topic. Uh, um, Time for the topic at hand. That Vaxies. Vaxies. <laughs> Vaxies. Oh, man. Heroes. Is there a card called Vaxies? Strikes. Vaxia. Yeah, Vaxia. Yep. He's there. Come He's back. there. Well, that was a quick not on the screen moment. Wait, all right. I'm good. Vaxia. Gaga. Ga. Gonna be, like, good when that one card comes out? That one card? Uh, Gaga. Ga. Girl? No. Gaga. Ga. Gosh. I can't remember what it's called. It's a good Gaga card. That's... Gaga Ga Mancer? No. <laughs> I'm just looking. There's so many of them. Romance what me. me. Gaga Ga. It starts with a G. Samurai. Gaga Ga Draw? That's already out. No. 
Uh, Gaga. Gaga got Rush. No, it's it's a girl. Except for it's not Gaga a girl. Gaga a sister? Yeah, sister. No? I mean, they'll be usable, I guess. Sister. That's old. Except for it's not Old and new. Because we never got it old. It might be in that World Superstars pack, though. Man, if you can just add any of the Gaga Gaga spells or traps to your hand at will, that's really good. Because they have really good ones. They're all right. They're not. They're not. So that's a top one. tier. Gaga got draw? Yeah, that's that's not very good. I believe it's like shuffle like three or something crazy. Banish three from your graveyard draw two. That's good. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> that's it that's happening. It's going on now. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah. Heroes. Okay, Heroes. Heroes with a capital H E R O. Hero. Hero. So there's the mass hero structure deck. Matt's got the exact whatever was that's contained in it. The minus some things that he added right there. Um, and that comes out tomorrow. Twas wrong. Yep. Twas I wrong. Uh, and it's pseudo relevant. There's a card that everyone's afraid of. That you so, be. I don't know. It's it's interesting. I, I appreciate its existence, I guess. Yeah. I like that you can kind of, I like mass change too, basically. It's a wrench in the works of the top decks. It's a fly on the wall. I like that there's elements to it that are splashable. That's what I like. I agree. Heroes, for me, has never really been about whatever people are doing with heroes. It's always been heroes is a toolbox that I can do stuff with. Yeah. That's just the... I like the addition of cards into the game that allow you to do things and not open your original deck. Open-ended. The lootable Which pieces. is essentially like two-ish cards. I don't, I don't know if this one works. No, Farm Dang is duty. So yeah, pretty much. I like this. that Shadow Mist cool. is pretty. Shadow Mist himself is pretty viable in other decks He's that can support it. You can support like minute hero engines using it. Are you telling me I can mass change suck in a stealth roid into? A yeah, thing? that is a fact. That's weird. Is it worth it? Thinking yes. that stealth roid can transfer into something that isn't a stealth roid. Thinking that a machine monster can put on a mask. Yeah. <laughs> Not just a machine monster, a stealth roid. Like, if you look at stealth roid, it doesn't actually have a face. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. It's hiding it. No, it's right there. It does. Where? The Where's the face? Its face is its glasses. It its face are on the face. top. That's its face. Right no, the there. face is on the top of the machine. It looks like JJ the jet plane. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was spouting nonsense, my bad. No, it's not. It doesn't actually have a face. It's face no, it's wearing goon logging glasses it is. behind. Literally, there is eyes behind it's the glasses. glasses. You can barely see the eyes, but you can see like the uh, Edges. the black of its eye and the white of its eye. It's a glasses face. And he's looking down at you going like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> With his hands. Which is weird because he sucks, so he shouldn't be actually... He's all right. I mean, it. when he came out, he was feasible. He is obviously unusable at this point. Mm. He's not unusable. But let's talk about heroes. Definitely. Heroes. So there's the new hero deck that came out, and it's based on masked heroes. Wait, one more, one more thing. Yes, Does sir. Stealth Union have the same glasses. I'm not gonna look at it. Why? I'm not gonna just, do just it. one more, I'll be done. I'm not gonna do it. One more, I'll be done. Come on. Is he? Is Stealth Union your he hero? Does. He does. They're, it's like a visor. He's like the guy from Star Trek. No, he's got Stealth Roid right here oh, on yeah. his crotch. Oh, his... What? <laughs> <laughs> stealth Roid's face becomes his crotch. Okay, with that we're done. Okay, so back to heroes. Right. Okay, so it's Masked Heroes, which means it's based on the card Mask Change, and Mask which is Change. an old card. Second. Well, there's the new card is Mask Change Second and Form Change. So I had two new Change quickly. There's actually an old. There's another Change Quick Play spell that I thought was hilarious. Called, uh, Star Changer. Really? I think. Star Changer? Job Change Mirror? That's weird. Yes. So, Shadow Mist can add a quick play change spell from your deck to your hand. And you can add Star Changer, which is target face a monster on the field and either increases the level by one or lowers the level by oh, one. Oh, yeah, that I thought that was kind of cute. I um, thought you were thinking about Fake Hero. It has to have change in the name. Oh, okay. So, I put together the actual starter deck so that I could play it against real live people and see how it did, and it was horrible. Yeah. It was pretty upsetting. Me like, and Matt were discussing how this one doesn't, like, work. It, it asks you to fuse, right? Because that's what heroes do. Fusion yeah. summon. They, it asks you to fusion summon. So it gives you polymerization, miracle fusion, 
Parallel World Fusion. Is the only way to activate Parallel World Fusion to resolve a Miracle Fusion in this deck? I... Um, yes. No. No, Confirm. you can Koga, I think. Oh, uh, yes. Koga uh, is uh, their Light Mask Hero and allows you to banish yeah, a Cloud <laughs> Monster from your <laughs> the Dream World. World. And then yeah, target one face up monster on the field, and then it loses attack equal to what you banish. But, I mean, even then, but that means you had to. Oh, gosh. <laughs> even then, you have to get up so high in order to make to this low up. stuff that should happen. It's difficult to get a change quick play, and then a light monster, and then make Kuga, and then banish, and then have, banish again. Have all of that just be okay? This is like, why is Voltic in this deck, too? I don't know why Voltic is in here. I mean, Voltic's great. Voltic. Yeah. But there's no like there's a lot of that in this like this doesn't make sense. Some of this stuff would be good in response to playing other starter decks. Like if you played the really old um, dark or chaos starter deck or whatever that kind of banished things, Voltic might be okay. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. There's but a in lot of this. response to playing actual decks. I mean, this thing, this thing is like super slow and super clunky, and it's basically just a deck that says so. buy more of me. So that you can actually put together something. So you can rip half the cards out. I have two questions. So this deck doesn't function outside of making fusion. It doesn't have any other function other than make fusion monsters. This so problem number two is they only give you two monsters that can be fusion summoned. Right. Great Tornado and Mass Hero Ninja. Now contrast hero chaos. Which is the cover card. Okay. And then so contrast hero chaos is a fusion two mass heroes, which is more viable than tornado. Because the only wind monster in the entire deck is Avion. And Avion, in, uh, if this was the Japanese deck, it would be Stratos, but our Stratos is banned. So there are four or five differences? Four differences? So in the Japanese in the Japanese deck, they get Solemn Warning, but well, we get Battle Guard Howling. I mean, that card's good, but I don't need a reprint. Not of a common. Yeah, Battle Guard Howling, when a warrior-type monster you control is targeted yeah. for an attack, or by an opponent's card effect, target one face-up monster your opponent controls, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the face-up monster you targeted with this card, and if you do, return it to the hand. So That's a good card. It's not bad, but it doesn't negate whatever is going Why on. Why did we not get Solemn Warning? Uh, because it's too good. We already got a common in another structure deck. Great. Okay, what's the other difference? So Stratos, obviously. Okay. Stratos and Avian. Stratos becomes Avian, and something becomes Homunculus. Oh, so they get Foolish Burial, oh, and yeah. we get Homunculus, the alchemic being. <laughs> and Read then, Homunculus for me. And then, um, and then Gaia was the other one, right? Once per turn, you can change the attribute of this monster Wrong. with Homunculus. It should be every attribute at once. Okay. Am I, at this point, that would be still not as good. It's still not good, but better. It would have a use. It's more, more reasonable. And then yeah, the Japanese game, the Japanese deck gets uh, Elemental Hero Gaia, and we get Great Tornado, Doesn't which any we can't sense. even really do anything. Why did we not get Great Gaia? Gaia makes sense, but I think the idea is that we already have a bunch of Gaia reprints and not, but we did we had Great Tornado reprints too. Mm -hmm. I think that they just wanted to make him more accessible. But then, but thinking on that logic, I said to Matt that they should have put a Fire Guy, uh, Nova Master, Nova Master in this. Nova Magister. Mm -hmm. But then there's like no way to summon that there also. No. There is. There is, but just just as many as Great Tornado. Yeah. So then it would have been more logical for Homunculus. them to include Nova Master. Yeah. The only way to summon Great Tornado is with Avion or Homunculus on the field using Poly or Miracle on the field. Is there another fire monster in this? There's pack? Heat. There's only there's Heat, heat <laughs> and Homunculus. There's just as many as. Avion. Except Heat Nova. might actually stay on. You might actually. Heat is a, on like a reasonable card. Yeah. In Structure Deck Duel. Yeah. Avion is totally useless. So stupid. Or oh, you got Grandma's back up. Yeah. And then, so then there's other things in the structure deck that are just kind of like, really? Like, honest? Yeah, really? honest is just kind of random. You're not going to use it. I mean, you'll, you might resolve it. You have one alias and a Voltic, and that Neos that you're not going to summon. Really? Maybe you get all over soul. You honest that Voltic. Mm. After you've activated your poly using Neos and Avion, because that's the only thing you can poly it with. To get Neos into the graveyard, you can activate O Oversoul to bring back Neos. Mm, living the dream. And now you've got that Neos in the field, and when they try to attack over, you've got that honest. Oh, living the dream, baby. Straight out of the show. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh. So the Neos, like, makes sense, but then it doesn't. They, they could have included Neos if they were planning on including 
things that could use Neos. The only thing that uses Neos is Necroid. So oh yeah, Necroid. Shaman. So um, you can discard them with Matt. You just you want to discard this entire deck with Matt. James yeah, second. basically, Matt James second has a cost <laughs> that you have to discard for, and then you can use any monster that you have and put a mask on it. Wait, so um, two other things I'm confused about: Wing Kribo. This is like also kind of Jaden's deck. So yeah, that Grand Jaden's Ball. dead. So a Grand Wall and uh, Wing Kribo. Come they on, might that. as well put like a Prisma and Grand Neos in I this deck. I would have been pretty happy with the Prisma just because it would have been in here, not because it would have done anything. Let's just put Wing all the Wing Kribo support in here too. Yeah. Let's just not have this not be a mass change second structure deck. So they should have made it. Use these cards. They, it's like they had all these motives, these different motives that pulled this deck in all these different directions that made it not work at all. Yeah, like we'll put Avian in so that people have two cards to use, or three cards Why? to use for <laughs> Hero, because they put Hero Blast in this deck as well. One. One Hero Blast. And Shadow Mist. And, uh, so can, and that Necro Shade, you can mail that. Where's he hiding? Shadow Mist, is that him right there? Yeah. Yeah. There was actually there's a, quite a bit of new cards compared to what is normally in a structure deck though. We yeah, had, there's uh, a one, two, three, four fusions, fusions one plus. monster, two spells, three spells. Oh yeah, one and monster, no traps. mass change, second, oh, oh, oh. change, and mass, mass charge. charge. Summoner yeah. monk. Hmm. That's summoner monk is good. Horrible. Well, I mean, in this it's terrible. Yeah. In real life, it's good. In real life, it wouldn't be bad because you can exes, and that's not bad. Yeah. So let's talk about that mystery card right there. Where? Between fake hero and mass form change. <laughs> hero mask? I mean, hero mask, sorry. Yeah, hero <laughs> mask is not terrible. You're talking about mass charge? Mass yeah. charge is a good card. Oh, mass charge. Target a hero in your graveyard and a change quick play in your graveyard and add them to your hand. That's a good, good card. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's good. just like. Eh. But is that a new card? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, was just I don't remember it. Was. Has it existed? No. I was just wondering. We have, we've had no need for it up until now when we have more change cards. So what they should have done. If they're going to make this a, a masked hero deck, is take out all normal fusion support. Mm -hmm. Except Good. they added the boss monster as a fusion monster, which didn't mm -hmm. make any sense. Blade Edge, Blade Edge deck. Sure. So, but then they should have included instead of the Great Tornado and the boss monster, which the boss monster, the cover card should have just been Dark Lock. Mm -hmm. We all know that's what it is. And then take out fusions, and then add in Vapor, Goka, Acid, and uh, Deion Sanders. Yeah. And then make the deck based around that. So don't have any of these duty ones like Avion and Neos. Are those even collectible right now? Like, where do you get those cards? Acid and, like, Dion? Yeah. I have, like, a million Dion and two Vapor. And Acid is from that random tin that had the Burmian Bombardment Bird in it. Mm. Oh, but, like, if you went and if you went out and got this deck right now, like, how would you get more... How would you get this? You'd have to, like, individually people. pick up everything. Hmm. Flavor. So, which doesn't make any sense. You just think they'd include the masked heroes that you'd want. Nope. Why is Bubble Man and Ocean even in this structure deck? What? I don't. Bubble Man <laughs> is pointless. <laughs> you have way too many monsters to run Bubble Man. Ocean is up. cool, but but Bubble Man is horrible. I keep looking. Literally, at Bubble Man's only purpose in this deck is to either be discarded, or to be the fusion used for Great Tornado. <laughs> that is not the wind monster. Yeah. Why is H and O in here? Who? What? H E R O? No, what? Yeah. Hero? Oh, I mean, the why is H and O? Well, H, H allows you o to O brings over back stuff. Avion, Neos, and Neos Alias, mm -hmm. which is all right. Okay. H is all right, E is obvious, R is a good card. Yeah. But I mean, where's what Hero Flash? I don't know. Where's, where's Surprisingly, they did not include Hero Flash in this. What does it even do? When you it's have all of them in your graveyard, you, uh, you clap really loudly. <laughs> uh, all Mighty Heroes. Normal monsters you do current control can attack upon directly. See, that's that's not worth oh, it. This yeah. doesn't make any sense in this deck. Hero Flash! And it's terrible. <laughs> um, Needed another effect. They could have, like, I mean, literally... These, I think these are, like, all the... Other than Avian and Bubble Man, these are all just the, like, like, the, like, science, the, like other hero monsters. Like, would you use this card if it said, this, banish huh? this card in your graveyard, add H-E-R-O from your banish zone to your hand? You had to banish them? I mean, like, you banish them for this effect. Cool. Oh, it adds them all? Yeah, and then you banish this once you've used it, and then it adds them all back. That'd be good. No. What's going Attack on? of the thing ringing. That was going on. I don't know. Sure. I don't know why it's making that noise. It shouldn't. I told it no. Silence. Silence you. I told it no. Who dares? <laughs> <laughs> Who dares? Oh, it's impeding on us. Hold on, hold on. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's done. 
It's done. Oh. For yeah. now. It was a nice sound, I guess. But uh, that'd be kind of cool. Or it could... I you could banish know. it to add one of them to your graveyard even. Yeah. Be at least reasonable. It'd have to be from the banish zone, because you banish them all to use it. I guess that's true. What if you could just banish it in the graveyard to add one from your deck to your hand? Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. Then you might think about using it. You might. Well, I mean, yeah. But they could have added that card in if instead of adding all these random heroes that have no semblance in this deck. Wait, there's no bubble, man. Oh, there is. Every time I look at this list of cards, I see something now that like should doesn't but, belong. Yeah. They could add a hero flash if they just gave us all the vanilla heroes. That's the one you're supposed to use. And then they could have just added movement cards for the vanilla heroes, mm -hmm. which would have been fine. And no fusions. It would have been interesting to see a vanilla mask deck. Because then, what else? They could add in... Uh, yeah, dark Factory and all that. Yeah, Dark Factory, I understand. Soul, whatever, Resurrection. Yeah, as a structure deck, they can't, the like, have, hero, like, a bunch of like, fusion monsters. They're, like, the, the underdog... They, but they added the wrong dog. ones. Even within the ones they added, they added the wrong ones. Well, I mean, they had to put the five, the four new ones in. They didn't... The, the, they didn't have to make these. They literally... The three new right. Mass Heroes made sense. Great Tornado makes no sense. And then the boss monster is like unsummonable. Contract it's not right? unsummonable, but it's like if you not were given this deck to play as, you're not going to do it. You're never going to do it. And then even if you got three of them, you're probably not going to summon it anyway. It's not that good. It's not good enough to get that scenario to happen. <sighs> I mean, whatever. It's, it's whatever. Just so yeah, then everything but Blade Edge is awesome. It's awful. Blade Edge is awesome. And then like form change that doesn't even make sense in this. The, the, with the structure deck, let's read purely. So yeah, form change. Target one hero monster you control. Fusion monster. One hero fusion monster you control. Return that monster to the extra deck. Then special summon from your extra deck one masked hero monster with the same level as the original level of the return monster, but with a different uh -huh. name. So literally, <laughs> this back. card can only swap Koga for thing. Koga for wind guy. The, the, or the wind or it can swap Great around. Tornado that you can't summon for yeah. Koga. Great Tornado, Koga, and Kamikaze. It swaps those. Kamikaze had better explode. You know, it I literally doesn't explode. I can't believe they actually call it Kamikaze. Why? It doesn't explode. No, no, no. Because it's 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 divine wind. Imagine if it uh Kami and then Kaze. Uh, wow. And Kaze wind. Yeah. Imagine if when you summon it, it was just black. There's rose. only one divine wind. <laughs> it's of the Mist Valley. Yeah. But. <laughs> Having Dark Law be six, and then, like, the one that you want to So they summon. just should have had a Vapor in this. They just needed to have a Vapor in this. Yeah, it's just not fair. <laughs> that Vix. That I just right. want Kamikaze to always mean explode, I guess it doesn't matter. Mm. We, we, come to the the mm -hmm. we come to tribute to Kamikaze with exploding, even though it really should not mean that. But it does. Because people explode. Yeah. Heart explodes. Maybe they rush in like a divine wind. Well, yeah, maybe they're probably in like an air. They show. deliver the it's people an deliver a divine wind. In. Yeah, um, they fly in. They are the divine wind, and they explode. <laughs> like, I don't know, the judgment of God, whatever. Yeah, it's like a judgment, and maybe they believe that God told them to fly in, explode, and die. Okay, that's probably terrible lore. It's not. It's they have. Why do they have to explode? Why can't they just eject at like the last second? Because then. They would be meaningless. Be <laughs> <laughs> the exact opposite of meaningless. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, let's be around. So let's finish this up. Well, why doesn't the boxer go through with his punch? Why doesn't he just get there and then tap his opponent? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Got him. It's not the same. As <laughs> you don't have to explode in order for you to do damage. You being in the explosion adds nothing. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Except for maybe it it's like... so much more meaningful when you give your life for it. Right? Not as far as exploding radius. It's really though. underhanded to throw like exploding boxes at the at an opponent. But to you yourself in a box explode on your opponent, you know, that is very that? meaningful. When they don't die after you explode and your life was you literally <laughs> exploded for nothing. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Are you saying that someone attempts to... I don't... What are you Kamikaze. Doing? So somebody is... Someone attempts to kamikaze, and then doesn't, and then is just still alive. No, it's like... It's no. like, I go, I, I'm, yeah. I'm Kirby. I yeah. saw you jump off, and I die, and you survive. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, what's the point of that? Yeah, there's yeah. there's nothing there. No. <laughs> that's, you that's added just, your, like, fact. manure body to, like, the fertilizer explosion, and then, <laughs> hey, Kirby doesn't know. He's dead. 
<laughs> okay, so I think technically, he won, technically but he didn't. Kirby will be reincarnated as an exact replica of himself. Okay, like back back to heroes. So well, let's you quickly can see that this is happening because there's like not a lot to talk about. Okay, quickly let's go through all the new cards and just read them off. Okay. And then we'll, the one that's doing it. And then we'll talk about what you I'm can actually do there's with nothing these cards. We did it all. But I mean, anyways, I think we can both agree that the pack, I mean the yeah. structure deck doesn't logic, make logical it's, it's, sense. The structure deck is not to be used. Pack. Is not to be used. It is to be bought in threes, and you to take the relevant pieces and throw everything else away. Absolutely. But like, because you don't want everything. In the in the past, they actually had like a there was like a unification of the deck that made sense. You know? also argue that the best structure deck they ever made was uh, the Gemini My stroke. One. The Gemini one. What's that one? Gemini. The Gemini one. Oh yeah, that one was really cool. Yeah. And stuff. You could use it, and it was really good. Well, I mean, it had a, a lot of them like functioned. Yeah, but this one just this doesn't, one doesn't even function. function. Doesn't function. It's a pack. It's like who made it? It is like it is a pack, yeah. except you get every card in the pack when you open it. We need to like, pack. think of it. Yeah, structure pack. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I've been calling. Matt has coined it, and now it yeah. exists. Now I'm glad that it exists because now I know what to classify. It's it. a structure pack. structure pack. But I mean, I feel like this has hasn't happened in a while. Another, before we move on, has there ever been another structure pack besides this one? That you can think of. The... There's some that I haven't dueled with that I just like to think they might be. Like the Endiamond one might be a structure pack. The yeah, that I've heard. No, that one I never really used bad. it. Oh, the uh, the Machina one was a structure pack. Like you had to get three of those. Oh, yeah. It didn't and it came with, function and it came by with itself. Common D Prison. It oh, functioned by itself, it? though. Oh, okay. Like, I mean, it functioned within itself. Hmm. This deck has, like, dysfunction within itself. <laughs> It has parts that move to no common goal. There is descent in the ranks. There's like cards that have a purpose that works with only one other card you have one of, and it might not work. The deck is not of one purpose, of one mind. Because I feel like this one, uh, it has never been this like ridiculously not working together. It is a house divided among itself. All of the starter decks are like structure decks or structure packs. Yeah, the starter decks are like the good ones. They have literally our purpose to help you learn how to duel mm -hmm. so they function. Yes. And these are structure decks. Yeah. Which are not the same. Which are not the same. They're supposed to be based on something and bring a new strategy that the the, the deck is based on. But this doesn't base around the strategy at all. It just okay. doesn't work. No, sorry, okay, no. moving along. Yes. Starting with the only new main deckable monster, which is Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. Mist. I'm going to hover over that and then go back to whatever you're looking at. Zoop. Yeah. Oh, and then you can, like, take the mouse over there. Oh. Right? Oh, you don't have there, to. There you go. Oh, so Shadow Mist. If this card is special summoned, you can add a change, quick play spell, from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a hero monster from your deck to your hand, except for Shadow Mist. You can only use one Shadow Mist effect per turn and only one second. It could have been so much better if it didn't have the last part. Yeah, but... Eh, even so, it's still pretty freaking good. I remember it's you really were, like, good. freaking out, and then you... Saw that it had the last part. Yeah, it would be really a lot better if it had not a last effect. I mean, yes, but I've been happy with it. Oh, oh yeah, it's, using, it's, it's great. Without using the change quick play thing, using it in the uh, Destiny End Dragoon deck was, like, amazing because it just comes out, you you exes with it, then you detach, and then you get its effect, you bring it back, and someone mm -hmm. oh, MSTs yeah. the call, you get its effect again, you do anything with it, and send it to the graveyard. It's awesome. And you get heroes. Well, Frieza. So this card is pretty important. It's, it's kind of like you don't have to risk summoning a Stratos. You just have to send this to the graveyard. Yeah. Now. Uh, and it turns Armageddon Knight into Stratos. Mm -hmm. Literally. Infinitely easier. Is Infinitely it? Infinitely better. Well, than Stratos. No, Stratos is way better. Stratos is better, but Stratos can be... Uh, it doesn't matter. I would rather have this card not exist and have Stratos back. No. No. For two Progress. reasons. One, Progress. Stratos has 1,800 attacks. So you, so you can't summon this and just be like, I'm going to do stuff. I'm going to win. I'm gonna, you can't threaten your opponent with this thing. It's mm. not threatening. There's 1,000 damage. 1,000 attack, 1,500 defense if you didn't. I don't think we said that. No, did. Mm. And it's a dark warrior, level 4. Um, and it's got really glossy blue hair. Mm. But Stratos can be used twice per turn. As many times as you want per turn. Yeah. One. 1,800 attack is the two. Three is it can destroy spells and traps, and that's really good. Mm -hmm. That's really important. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times I'm running Shadow Mist, I run out of stuff that I want pretty quick. I'm just like, I don't care anymore. And now it's a, a totally useless card. Yeah. But Stratos is never a useless card. Never. There's so many times where I've been like... But they're just different it. cards. 
Yeah, they're different, but I feel like Stratus is better. But that's his band because it's better. It's bad. Ooh. Oh, snap. Oh, so snap. But Shadow Miss is good. Yes. So, but you can kind of make Armageddon Knight into pseudo Stratos because whenever you summon an Armageddon Knight, it adds a Ghetto hero Stratos. from your deck to your hand. It's very Ghetto Stratos. It's Armageddon Knight works in a special summon, right? Yeah. So it's like kind of like Stratos. Yeah. You have to Ghetto Stratos. Ghetto Stratos. Uh, then there's three new spells. Three Let's new talk about spells. We got Mask Change Two. Second. It's called Mask Change Two. Which is great because I hate Mask Change Second. Yeah. It's oh. Mask Change like I I. Oh. Like oh. Roman numerals. Mass oh. change two. And uh, discard a card. Target a face a monster you control that has a level. Sorry, Xyz monsters. Send it to the graveyard. So not a cost. What? Not Discarding? Cost. No, I mean... Uh, to send the monster to the graveyard? Yeah. No. Neither is mass so change. So you can discard the card you want to... Fusion with? Do we want to change something? No, no. We, what? Oh, it doesn't actually do that. Never mind. Yeah, keep going. Discard a card. Target face a monster you control has a level. Sorry, Xyz monsters. Again. Send it to the graveyard. Oh, that the cost is discard and target. Effect. Right. Send it to the graveyard. Special summon a master hero from your extra deck with the same attribute as that monster, but with a higher level. And it is treated as being summoned with mask change. You can only activate one mask change two per turn. Okay. Uh, that's really good because it doesn't have to target a hero. Yes. That is its relevance. Anybody can be a hero now. Yeah, anybody can be a hero. I was so hero. sad because of the uh, level restriction. You can't use Mass Change 2 to turn a construct into a Koga because they're both level 8. I was so it sad. to be higher level. So now I can't they mega both. OTK people with Mass Change 2. Now I can only make a Dark Law in Shirtles. Which is bad. Where is it? It's alright. Dark Law is really good. You better be winning, bro. Uh, but that card's interesting. It allows you to literally just put Mass Change 2 in other decks. Yeah. Uh, as the Konami website said, uh, Burning Abyss, really obvious Shadows, which will get their effects when sent to the graveyard. Uh, and then the other one that I think Mermails. is reasonable is Mermails. Yeah, because Gun can be discarded. The Water Mass Geos are by far the best. And you also run the next controller. <laughs> For the Dark Law. Dark bowel. And then we've got uh, form change. Form change. Poodoo change. Form change is another quick play spell. I was going to say that you could use um, mass change 2 and fables, but you don't really get a ton from that. No, you get Koga. Koga. You basically need to be summoning dark law or water ones mm -hmm. if you want to use mass change 2 in the deck. Or a change. Or you have great advantage from discarding or sending your monsters to the graveyard. Mm. It is nice that you can like have monsters that want to be banished, etc., etc., like construct, which doesn't work. But if it did, because every time you like attack with it, they want to activate D Prison slash Phoenix Wing, and you should be able to tribute it. Mm -hmm. That's why El Shadow Fusion and Enemy Control are so good in that deck, because everybody always activates everything on your fusion monsters, because mm -hmm. they're vulnerable to cards that just return them from the field or banish. Not anymore. So when you trolling somewhere and you get banned, you have to use this card, Forum Change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Mm. But right. Forum Change... I'll talk about it. It's a quick play spell. Target one hero fusion monster you control. Return that monster to the extra deck. Then, special summon from your extra deck one masked hero monster at the same level as the original level of the return monster, but with a different name. This the is special summon monster is treated as being special summoned with mass change. That's okay. interesting. Not a lot of possibilities at the moment. The point of this card is to essentially sidestep attributes. Mm -hmm. That's the only advantage it has over the other ones. Literally sidestep. Uh, like and it is what this is the other way to get a wind monster into your graveyard without using a wind monster in this mm -hmm. deck. You can turn your Koga or your or your wind fusion that you already summoned yeah. into Kamikaze and get your wind monster out. So when I think of this card, a quote comes from mine from the recent uh, Hunger Games movie. Oh. Uh, in that movie, the main character, I think her name is Katniss. Hermione. Yeah. Yes, I'm a Yes, <laughs> if you bird, if we bird, you, you bird with, with us. If you some, activate something on my fusion monster, then I'm going to activate this, and I'm going to suffer for it, <laughs> but you're going to suffer more because you wasted the card. Yeah. That's the, what this card does, pretty much. Okay. It's like, bet you didn't see this coming. Mm -hmm. and I've never like, seen no. a battle this no. crazy. Yeah, I've never seen a battle this crazy. 
Oh, man. And then the other new card is Mass Charge, which we mentioned in passing. It's a normal spell. Target a hero and a change quick play in your graveyard. Add those to your hand. that's good. It's kind of like a salvage, but it just instantly makes a mask hero. That's a yeah, plus one trade hour. It's a good card. I mean, I like there's really card. nothing to say other than that its application is incredibly obvious. Mm -hmm. And it's a plus one. Yeah. Soon to plus be good. another plus. Uh, it's your comeback and your combo extender. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the new fusion the monsters. Boy, they are a mask bag. Yeah. And we Some got that dark cloud, the, the cream of the crop. Dark Law, False Advertising, and Coca. <laughs> Kamikaze. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> hey, was... don't forget about Contrast Hero Chaos. Oh, yeah. That's four. That's nice. He's, uh, I don't know what to call him. He's weird. Contrast Heroes. I wonder if there's going to be any more. Or if he's, like, the only one. His, he has a, a condition that is he's always treated as an element hero, so you can Miracle Fusion him. Okay. All right, so let's talk about... Masked Hero. Dark Law. You gave the best for first. The Dark Cream of the Crop. All right, with a Warrior Dark with 2400 attack and 1800 defense, level 6. Mm. Must be special summoned by mass change. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. Wait, side note. All mass heroes have that clause, so you can never call the haunted slash whatever them back. Because that would be broke. Um, or would it? Be whatever. I mean, I can call the haunted a construct, and it still gets effect. That's pretty good. Call the haunted just... This after you summon it, just on demand when they're trying to do stuff in the middle Whatever. of their place. So, no. call the haunted banisher of the radiance. No. Crap. <laughs> well, okay, so, any card sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished instead. Ooh. Great. Once per turn, if your opponent adds cards in the main deck to their hand, except during their draw phase or damage step, under, you can banish one random card from your opponent's hand. Why? During See, the damage step. Because some most effects can't activate in the damage step, and they're now required, because of what they've stated, to mention it if it cannot be activated in the damage deck. Okay. And so that means if a card now that it's released doesn't say have that clause can't be activated in the damage deck, that means it can. Okay. I guess that's uh, it. And also they only typically allow quick effects that either negate an effect that could happen in the damage step or manipulate attack and defense. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, let's talk about Mass the Dark Law. Divine, adver I mean, false Divine Advertisement. No. <laughs> Warrior win, 2700 attack, 1900 defense, level eight. Eight. eight yeah. Level eight. So, Masio Kamikaze. Must first be special summoned by Mass Change. Cannot be special summoned by other ways. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle. Only one monster can attack during the opponent's battle phase. Oh, I forgot about that effect. When this card the destroys a monster by battle, opponent's monster by battle, and since it's a graveyard, you can draw one card. This monster literally Where? is just like they read three other monsters and just put them on it. Where are the explosions? Um. So literally what he does is your opponent has only 2,700 attack monsters <laughs> and then he, he suicides with them but he doesn't die because he can't be destroyed by battle. And they attack once per turn with their 2,700 attack monsters and die. And you draw a card every time. Yeah, wow. If I had to rename this, I would call this Mass Hero Honorable Combat. Because hmm. <laughs> that's all he does? Yeah. He enters Honorable Combat, which he never loses, and he gets advantage from it. But... Any type of, like, trickery, like deep prison he's just like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. He's I'm gone. vulnerable to everything but honorable combat. He never yes. gives up. Yeah. yeah. He never gives up. He will keep fighting until the end. Never surrender. Until the, the villain, like, poisons him or something. Yeah. Uses some, like, crazy deus ex machina machine to get him. I've never <laughs> seen a poison this crazy. <laughs> yeah. What? I said I've <laughs> never seen a poison this crazy. <laughs> he's going to get a double dose. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the next. Mast Hero Koga. Oh, where is it? Oh, yeah, he oh, okay. controls. Mast. Yeah, he decides what that's about. I really don't like how gross Koga looks. I love how Koga looks. What's like going on with he like? He looks wrong. <laughs> I know, like, he's just like squatting. I love. Is he this. like slicing and dicing yeah, everywhere? Yeah, he's gonna stab. He is the most violent. What he's is more that? Violent he has the thing. He has things. such a not appealing pose. He's more violent than Dark Law. Yeah. Dark Law looks like he's got some like internal like psychological problems, but like Koga is he's like, yeah, like I'm just gonna slice you up. Right, he's, 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 got a, he's got a hernia. He's Koga got a has no emotions. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't feel. <laughs> So he's got the, like, put on the mask, arm like, blades. All like, emotions are set aside. Like this guy, he's like, like he, he might have like a little sword or a kunai or something. And like this guy, he's like, yeah, he's like in a fighting pose. Oh, oh, oh. Tornado looks pretty cool. Koga's just like, I don't want any of that. I'm going to stab you. <laughs> it's like, come here. Come here. Uh, All right, so Koga, level eight, light, warrior fusion. 
20. Without our attack, 18 in defense. Whoa. Whoa now I'm blind, now I can see. 18 He's got the mass hero effect, which is what Ooh, mass hero condition. Mass hero condition, there we go. This card gains 500 attack for each monster you're going to control. So basically he's got 33,000. Alright, yeah. That's good. Once per turn, during each the player's turn, you can banish one hero monster from your graveyard, then target one phase of that monster on the field. It loses attack equal to the banished monster's attack until the end of his turn. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? It's Koga. Really? <laughs> no. That's that guy from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's Baraka. They're like the same person. Koga is in Mortal Kombat. He even it's, has the same little, like, It's points. coming out of his... Ah, uh, it, it could go away. It's gross. It slowly goes away. Screw you. <laughs> 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 okay. You. Okay, so yeah. Contrast here, Chaos. I mean, there's not a lot to talk about. Koga, he, he is what it, it is. What it Koga is. is that second Gemini Spark target for your newest alias. Then we have Contrast <laughs> Hero, Chaos. He also believes in honorable combat, which is weird because he has arm sights. Uh, no, all he does is cut off your arms, a.k.a. lower your attack, and attack. Oh, everything. no! <laughs> no, do not put that on the screen. <laughs> it was there for like a second. Okay, Matt, you want to hover over the Contrast Hero? We will be doing it. Let me okay. look how I'll do it. Contrast Hero Chaos is a fusion. Level 9. 3,000 attack, 2,600 defense. Two masked heroes is his fusion material requirements. And this card is always treated as an elemental hero. Oh, isn't that fun? Even in the extra it must be fusion summoned and cannot be special summoned in other ways. While face up on the field, this card is also light, which doesn't matter. Once per turn, you and either player's turn, target a face up card in the field, negate its effect until the end of the turn. Doesn't matter. Honest! Yeah, there's your up. 3,000 attack. <laughs> <laughs> honest for game. When, yeah, honest for Didn't game. Didn't stop BLS from using honest all the time. This no, card is great that. because it is one of the most accessible ways to help you summon Dyson Sphere. Good. <laughs> Very good. That was something Justin was supposed to say. Uh, I Probably. I, which is weird that I've like become synonymous with that card because I never used Dyson Sphere. Nobody, was never, ever, nobody has ever summoned Dyson Sphere. I have Sphere. never used it. Wait, maybe I, I, I might have summoned it once. No, I've I seen did. someone summon Enter Blathner. Enter Blathner. Enter Blathner! Why wasn't there an Enter Blathner in this deck? Because <laughs> they don't have two nines. That's true. They should have added a level. They should have added the level card, the quick play. Yeah. If this card is always Star treated Chamber. as an elemental hero card, why call it contrast here? Why not just call it elemental hero? Because it's hero not card? for the story, man. It's not story. an elemental hero. He's a contrast hero. They're not going to call it contrast elemental hero chaos. That's dumb. Whatever. He is definitely a contrast hero. Okay, whatever. This they just didn't is... want to make him completely unviable by not allowing him to be summoned by Miracle called... and Parallel yeah. World Fusion. It's like the type of cards that your opponent will summon and you'll be like, oh, what's that do? And you'll read it and you'll be like, eh. Oh, and you'll just drop the Dark Hole out of your hand. Call dark it Mole, Snatch and, snatch and Steal, Quickie Mark, <laughs> uh, Rye Guy. I guess Rye 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 if they Kai. Dark Hole, can you target the Dark Hole with its effect? You entire one face up card on the field negate that effect. <laughs> no. Negate that target's effect until the end of the turn. Why not? No, really, really. Probably. I bet you can't, but I mean, it just sounds like you can. Yeah, you can't target cards that are supposed to go to the graveyard. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, yeah, can. you can MST them. Yeah, I know read up on that. Let's go, Matt. The people have to know. Contrast hero. If this card is like secretly like the most OP ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would just be immune to really random things. That'd be funny. You can just what? It just says you can negate a card once per turn. That's good. I'd summon that. It's really easy to summon, too. Better is not it? have that effect. It's two mass heroes. That's not that easy. And then just negate that card's effects? Yeah, until the end of the turn. Hmm. The wording, everything about the wording suggested that's not the case. Why? Huh. Well, here I'm we are. I'm look here. We can be so slow. We can be activating the damage too. All right. Okay. Yeah. Effects that have its effect that activate or apply on the field negate, right? Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if the effect of Warrior Lady of the Wasteland is negated by contrast to your chaos and that Warrior Lady of the Wasteland is destroyed by battle, the effect of Warrior Lady of the Wasteland that activates in the graveyard is not negated and it is a Useless! <laughs> the last one says can effect can target face up monsters, spell and trap cards. I mean, I'm led to believe it can negate anything. Yeah, it probably can. I mean, trap stun negates the effects of trap cards, right? Yeah. And it Based up trap cards. Wait, go down to six. Go down to six. Click. Ugh. 
This is like the Japanese one. Yeah, You're leaving. They give you an ad for leaving? <laughs> yeah, they get you. Final shot. Translate. Moon speak. Yeah. <laughs> moon speak. What is that? Can you target a tell travel's return? You can activate a card. I want to disable the effect of that card until the end of the So game. let me like clarify what's going on. We are reading rulings in moon speak. There are rulings that already have kind of yeah, so ambiguous says, meanings translated from Japanese to <laughs> English. So it sounds like it can randomly be able to negate that kind yeah. of stuff. So that's okay. cute. Okay. I mean, the activation isn't negated, which is also pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. like, yeah, you activated that card. All right, well, I'm fine with it either way because that's I guess. very strange. I mean, a judge could come up to me and say that's not how it works, and I'm like, okay, like, well, that's how easy that'd be to convince me otherwise. <laughs> we got, we already know about Travis Dunn. I remember there was another card in the past that did something similar. Oh, it came from Raging Battle, of course. What was another? Yeah, and they were all like Raging Battle, terrible. I remember that. There's good times with that pack. How I mean, the back is, I was, I was like, it's worthless in terms of value. Yeah, I was raging on the inside when they were like, Raging Battle is a useless pack. Random There's so many great packs, they're not packs, great cards that came from that. Yeah. And at the time, everything you wanted was from Every that Every influential card at, the, at that time came from that pack. Seems like. I remember on the podcast, kept, we kept going, it's from Raging, Raging Battle, so good. Yeah, we kept yeah. doing that. I mean, if you go back and like look through the pack, like there's very few like filler bad cards in it. Well, I'll see if there's like a, a category of things. We're actually just looking to look at the room. Go. go. Your computer's turn to not. Go. Yeah, your turn. Yeah. Okay. I remember something similar happened with another card that we click read on in a past podcast. Go, Mac, go up and click on gallery. Where there was a card that could negate face up cards. I believe it was. Is it Zombie Stein? There you go. I think it was Zombie Stein, the card I was thinking of in the past that did this. Uh, the, the rank 8 arrow card is 2 level 8s. Not the same rating at all. Huh? But it's a trap card on the field. Okay, no, here's effect. another card that has a similar wording. Mm -hmm. So, Zombie number 22, Zombie Stein. Uh, once returned in either player's turn, you can detach and exist material from this card. Send a card from your hand to the graveyard to target a face-up card your opponent controls. Change this card to defense, and if you do negate that face-up card's effect until the end phase. Does it mm. work? I don't know. We're going to check. Right. Zombie Stein. This says negate... Strap Tongue says negate the effects of all other trap cards on the field during the turn. Like, yeah, it doesn't specifically target one, but if it's it a trap card... It doesn't say face-up either. It doesn't matter. Or does it? No. On the field, face Or up. does it? It's on the field. Who knows? We're going to find out. The Zombie Stein will... Solve all. If you can make it there. Yeah, if I can make it there. Why, Internet? Why? Not your Internet. Computer. Uh, I'm going to guess it. We're all using the same Internet here. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Matt cool. secretly has better Internet. Maybe. Not really. It could just be his. Internet's better, yeah. I'm going to what you Internet are you rooms? using? Yeah, just go to this. Internet. Just click it. Oh. Oh, oh, it wasn't. Your magical Internet that you got from, like... Number 22. Um, if the effect of zombie sign is activated in a chain to a normal spell trap targeting that normal spe spell trap that effect is negated well that's that Wait, where? where the third one that's if the effect that. is activated to chain your normal spell okay that's that okay and if emergency provision is chained removing that card from the field it is no longer negated cute mm. okay so now contrast your chaos is a better card than I thought that mm -hmm. as I say is that so Contrast Hero Chaos can negate almost anything. Oh. That Anything that's face up. Yeah. Even noted. Not really. Even noted. Yeah, even noted. I would negate the instant fusion. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what they're going to do with that. You're just like, put the noodles uh, away. But he has that terrible weakness. I remember this happening in the past. They'd summon Light and Darkness Dragon, and you would have uh, goes and Match on the field, and it would die no matter what. Because mm. it's treated as a bull. <laughs> and if they summon Catastor, it kills it. <laughs> It's funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's that as far as this pack goes. Um, right. And that's all the new cards. So, how does it, what do you do with this pack? So basically, legitimately? you summon oh, like contrast hero chaos as much as you can because nobody will know what it does. They'll be like, no, it doesn't work like that. And you're like, but it's not yes, possible. It it's it's the problem is there's no way to just do it. If you could, the best thing you could possibly do is plop it turn one. But how do you plop it turn one? I don't. 
No, in this pack, it's impossible. You need two masked heroes. You need to change the name. You need to summon a masked hero and then mass change it on the same turn. Like, mass change a masked hero into another copy of itself. And then, like, fusion with that (laughs) one. (laughs) Man. So, like, if you. So, here's the play you have Shadow Mist, mass change, and another mask change. Muscle. So you have two... And Miracle Vision. No, I'm, oh. well, okay, what I'm saying is, how well, in, this, yeah, in yeah. this structure deck can you summon it? Can you summon it? Yeah. Really late in the game, you play Miracle Vision. Yeah. Or Poly. Really. Or Parallel World Fusion after you've played Miracle Fusion to summon Great Tornado. Okay. Or sn- even then. Okay. Or you've summoned Ko- Ko- Koga after using all of your mass chain Because you run Gale Dagra. Gale Draga Miracle Fusion combo. Hey, there you go. Well, there you go. Worth um, it. You could also run Necroz Masked Heroes. Yeah, of course. Anything and then, with fusions. Anything with rituals and heroes. Well, because you ritual from the extra deck using a Masked Hero. Mm-hmm. That's good. Oof. And then you... Yeah, it's one of the Necroz Ritual spells. But don't you have to do up to the number? Not exactly. Or do you have to do exactly? We're going to read right now. Necroz, I believe it is the Kaleidomir. Uh, this card can be used to ritual summon any number of Necklaw's Ritual Monsters. This is one of the ones that does more than one. You can also tribute a monster from your hand or field or send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Whose level equals the total levels of the ritual summon monsters. Okay? Yes. So I guess you would send a high level one, which would be eight, mm-hmm. and you would summon two unicorns, which is the four. Or you could summon Cast Catastor, who's five, and Colossalus, who's three. Mm. And I think that's the only combination you could do, because the other ones require you to not use a monster of their level. Oh. Nani, Nani. <laughs> yeah. So that'd be that's not that easy. But I mean, they're all water, so you'd be running acid anyway. Flaccid acid. Because assumedly you're running Mass Change second in this deck. He's got a gun. He's got. Unfortunately, none of the Mass Change doesn't tribute. Because they all have like effects when they're tributed. Oh. Yeah. Because they all say, if this card is tributed by a card effect, all the effect monsters. So close. So close, but yeah, so far. Yeah. Geldargar, that's the way to go. That's the ticket. Okay, so... That's that. So that was how he summoned Contrast Hero Cast mm-hmm. easily, which is not easily. No. Sad day. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I guess... I'm not sure if it's still worth the condition that you have to get it with. It's, it's totally worth it because it's just a miracle fusion away, regardless of what happens. It's still one like, card when you summon it's it. It's still late game good. Late game is good. Yeah, I suppose if you're running Mass Heroes... You can run like one. You can run one, and there might it might happen eventually. Yeah. And it'll so just be one card. It's Dragon Assault mode that does not tribute itself. But tribute itself is almost beneficial. Yes. Because it makes it... It makes it evolve to this. It evades everything. Right, so you can't change the pulse. Yeah, because you yeah you can't or change chain an effect negation card mm-hmm. like deeper is in ready to go. Woo! Hey uh. Yeah. Hey, so yeah, but ahead. this is way easier to summon than assault mode, I would, or oh, less. I don't dis- know is it, it is. Less disadvantageous. How about that? Or is Gee. it double negative for a reason? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Tanky don't know. into because it's it's only one card. When you do it, it's a lot of cards to get assault mode, a, a, a starter's assault mode, and complete deck investment. Pretty That's much. true. That's true. There's a lot more. This like, can just like happen in that deck. Flexibility with this. Yeah, a lot. Uh, I think tanky into salt beast. Discard for salt mode. Activate. Uh, it's easy. All right. It's you would, you, easy if you have tanky, tanky, and the dragon shrine, I believe. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. No, wait, no. You, you have to have another dragon really. Or a level one tuner. If you have anything in your mm-hmm. graveyard, it's easy. So ten key, dragon shrine, and either level one tuner or a dragon ring, mm-hmm. and you can summon. You can get the star dragon assault mode. Mm. Yes. Dragon shrine, Sophie. Dragon shrine is all right. It's just a good card. Sophie, and then uh, I mean, you just you're sour because you lost to it with Melodious. <laughs> there was. He, he summoned two ass- assault mode, Star Dragon assault modes, and sk- played Skill Drain. There was no way he could Ooh. win. Once Ooh. again, I've never seen a battle that crazy. <laughs> okay, so what do you actually do with these hero cards? My memories. What are things you? I, I have this this Dev Pro like, not actual deck with cards that are viable that people have used for legitimate decks that have top Buy all fans. beads. Buy all beads. Buy them all. 
But uh, the deck is essentially based around special summoning Shadow Myth during your turn to get a change card, and then setting it, and then during your opponent's turn, changing him into Dark Claw when something happens. Mm. And then you'll get the search with this effect. Yep. So you get both effects, which will go plus one or two, maybe. And then they'll have a Dark Claw oh, to deal with. Gosh, so good. What? Goblinburg and the Dark Claw is really Goblinburg nice. is good. So uh, fishy. There's, you, you yeah, there's a dog in here? Dog. The dog. The dog. That summons warriors. You can change diver. mass, change second. No, Doggy Diver summons himself. Oh, does he? Yeah. You can mass, change second, respond to a compo I mean, to a uh, Rota, and then have them ditch from their hand, right? So yeah, you can, so, say, I was I was naive, I thought it was only search, but it's add cards from your deck to your hand, and I played an upstart goblin, and then they mass changed into Dark Claw, and they banished a the card from my hand. They were <laughs> horrible. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize that was what was going to happen. <laughs> but now I know, and now I will never forget. But, uh, as you were saying, Goblinburg and Tin Goldfish are two great ways to special summon a Shadow Mist you have in your hand. Goblinburg is good if you're running Broda, because it is a warrior. Uh, Tin Goldfish is the more ideal one, because it has better stats, and because it's water, which means your Miracle Fusions will summon Absolute Zero, which is mm -hmm. the one you want to summon in this deck. Because mm -hmm. you can mass change Ab Zero into Vapor or Acid. Sure. Mass changing Absolute zero and acid is the best thing ever because you destroy all the monsters and all the spells and traps. Good. And then you attack for game. You attack for map then. Uh, that's why goldfish is nice. But I suppose if I was running this deck, I'm, for example, running the three shadow mist, which seems like a kind of a staple esque thing to do. Mm. Uh, and I'm running any form of Rhoda, I'm probably going to run one Goblinburg. Just so that I can have it. Right? Yeah. It makes it makes sense. Right. And then also you run Armageddon Knight in that Rota build. Typically, it's just one from everything I've seen. Just because. Well, I mean it's the same because just imagine back in old hero times when you had Stratos. You run one Stratos. Yes. Yeah, you run one Stratos. You only need the one, and then triple Rota with one that. Armageddon Knight, three Shadowmas is the same as having the one Stratos. It just works exactly the same. And of course, mm -hmm. there's that recurability. And you recur it with Call and Oasis of Dragon Souls, which are the same card. Yes. Oasis is almost better in this deck because you can't bring back any of the boss monsters, aka the fusions, because they just can't be brought back. And all of the main deck monsters are weenies, like Justin said. They're all useless by themselves, so you want them in defense mode mm -hmm. in most instances. Uh -huh. And as uh, a guy from our locals said, he was running Satella Knights, and people were like, he always runs Oasis instead of Call. And the people are always like, well, you run that. If you're in the battle phase, you can flip call and then attack. And he's like, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just do it during their end phase. Yeah, exactly. And then just switch it to attack mode. Yeah. Because then it has that benefit that Kyle has and also the benefit of being better at defending yourself. Mm -hmm. Unless you're running the deck where all your monsters have like zero defense and 1900 attack. What if I have to finish them that battle phase? Uh, then... Sucks for you. Yeah. Then run call on it, I guess. Um, I suppose turning it into a Wyrm disallows the summoning of Heroic Champion Excalibur. That's the only other downside. Where? That's true. But allows summoning of any Wyrm. If you can summon Braxia. <laughs> Braxia. The problem with, because I was trying to think of every way you could do that, I was like, you bring it back as a Wyrm, then you have a level 4 tuner, and then, what level 4 tuner am I running in this <laughs> deck? But, uh, huh? Warrior Revenge. Rose Warrior Revenge, because Baxia. No, there's just that really, there's just Raiden. Yeah, you'd run Raiden. Yeah, but yeah, Baxia yeah. is, I'll read it, I'll just read this real quick. Once per turn, target a card you control, and a level 4 or lower monster in your graveyard, destroy mm -hmm. the target and then the field, and then special summon the monster in your graveyard. It just brings back Shadow Mist. Wow, mm -hmm. yeah. It's really good for this deck. Okay. See. So if you can figure out the way to do that, I guess you run some weird Light Sworn thing. Thing. And then run Oasis. But the problem is, like, you're only going to do it maybe once a duel, if that. Yeah. Because there's only one way to do it, and it's kind of situational. Not worth it. It'd be worth it if you're running all that stuff. You might as well run one back Running all that junk. Because mm -hmm. that that's junk. really good. Actually, I tried to make a deck that could summon Baxia. Yeah. It was, like, it was, it worked. It was funny. <laughs> it so worked. this is how, this is how I was supposed to do it. I'm supposed to open, if you open Armageddon Knight and one for one, you're, like, golden. Because you go Armageddon Knight, send Shadow Mist, add Destiny Hero Malicious, one for one, for Glow Bulb, discarding Malicious. Mm. Malicious, summon uh, Yazi using Malicious Glow Bulb. Bring back Glow Bulb, sync her with Yazi and Glow Bulb for Baxia. 
<laughs> going Braxia. Braxia. Good for you. Yeah. And then the, the, cool. the only problem with that play is that if you bring back Shadowmas, you can't activate it because he already did this turn. Mm, whoops. A tear from my eye. But, uh... If you have any other level fours, in the, like you can target the Armageddon Knight and bring back the Gold Bull, but I don't know. You can do. You can bring out the Malicious and target it to bring out the Gold Bull, and then make a level five. But I don't know. There's versatility, or you could make it. <laughs> you can make another Yazi. Yeah. Another Yazi. I mean, what well, could be better than another Yazi? You do weird things like <laughs> having a Baxia targeting. A lot of things. Targeting like a face down mass change second or something. Yeah, and chain it. Yeah. Or if you're running Call of Haunted, in the instance of running Oasis, when you synchro with Oasis, it goes away, unlike Call of Haunted. Mm -hmm. But if you Xyz with Oasis, it stays. Mm -hmm. Just because of the wording. So if you're running Call, which makes it harder to summon Baxia, so it's kind of not relevant. Mm -hmm. But uh, their dead calls are good to pop with Baxia. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a self touching scrap dragon. Yeah. Sounds like Phoenix Chain. Etc. Etc. And it's good because you can bring back. If you've done the Armageddon Knight setup, every time you activate Vaxia, you can either bring back Shadow Mess to search for the change or bring back the Armageddon Knight to send another Shadow Mess. Wait a minute. Then you realize you didn't actually do anything. <laughs> Did you? You summoned a 2300 attack monster. 2600 defense. And then Top if they seven. don't do anything, you like start pooping on their face. Oh, they're going to do something. And if you have a mass change at just already. You can bring back the second militia should have set mass change. Live in the dream. Like a troll face. <sighs> no, I did it. I actually did it. I was running plant heroes. That's what I called it. Oh, wow. I just ran Armageddon Knight, Destiny Hero, uh, Malicious, Shadow Mist, and then the plant. Yeah, hey, uh, when you're running that deck and you draw into three militias, hit me up. Hit me up. I'm going to laugh at you. It, I ran Destiny Draw and DDR. <laughs> you didn't draw any of those. Oh, it didn't hit happen. Me yeah. But uh, other sword, other sword, other card Matt was looking Divine at. Divine sword. Divine sword, Phoenix Blade. Uh, this okay. is the other way to summon, special summon Shadow Mists. It is using Divine Sword, Phoenix Blade in combination with DDR. Gap versus level limit area B. <laughs> Wait, what what does Gap and Divine Sword do? Hold on. Give Give switches all monsters to attack mode. Answer, Konami. There was something I wanted. To, it's the one that was up first, I believe. The perfect okay, perfect. good. I was just making sure. I remember thinking of this and being like, can this card be an out to Towers? And yes, it can. Oh, how? Because it, Towers is not unaffected by continuous monster effects. So it'll be switched to defense mode, right? Oh, it's changed to attack mode. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> it's not an out to Towers. I'm so sad. <laughs> is there a monster that switches everything to defense mode? <laughs> Yes, maybe. Continuous, I think. I don't know if it's continuous, yeah. Protector of the Labyrinth. Is this not a card? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Stop it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it is. No, it's not. Protector of the Labyrinth. Protector of the Sanctuary? Oh, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, it has just, nothing to do with that. I, I already know what that card is. What about Desert Protector? Just kidding. I so how about this? Level limit area B is on the field, right? Towers crushes up. You Towers. summon Gap the Divine Soldier. Gap switches to attack mode. And then their battle positions cannot be changed. So level limit area B doesn't do anything. Yeah. That's not true. That's not true. It is true. It says so. It doesn't say except by card effect. It says they cannot be changed. Period. Done. It's not that hard. Yeah. No, why? I figured it out instantly. The what? divine problem has been solved. Okay. Yeah. It, 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 this wasn't so much a problem Wait. as it was a joke. <laughs> Did they? It was that a comedy. They did. They changed that. <laughs> they they used, used bombing, bombing text to go back and correct one of their greatest embarrassments. Okay. Okay. Moving on. That part so, was there before. The DDR Divine Sword Phoenix Blade combo. Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, one of my favorite cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> is an equip spell. You can equip only to a warrior and against three hundred attack. During your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard, <laughs> you can remove and play two warriors in your graveyard data to your hand. It was the replacement card to uh, Butterfly Dagger Alma. Uh, um, so, basic combo. Summon Armageddon Knight, send Shadow Mist, add Bubble Man, special summon it, and then send, make Lawful Chain, send Divine Sword, and now you can banish. So, you, let me just get this straight. You special summon, you set all your cards to special summon Bubble Man? Sure. Okay. They're all quick plays, Justin. Gosh. Yeah, and they then uh, monsters in your hand, bro. 
whatever. If I didn't have, if I had Monster Man, I don't do that play. That this is just like the simplest way to do it. Oh, it's a recorder. This is bad. Wow. <laughs> don't do it, man. You gonna play it? Man. Why did you buy a recorder? <laughs> okay, that was a strange diversion. He's got that. He's got that freaking nostalgia from third grade. Mm -hmm. I remember playing the recorder. But we gotta get back on that. I think I was. You gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm done. That hurt me. Why is just so random? He's not done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's done. He's putting, he's putting the recorder down. I'm sheathing. Wind. Why? <laughs> we'll ask that. We'll, we'll wind? Play. Yes, it is a wind. Wind this one. Oh. Topic. Yeah. We're, we're, no more recording. Uh, uh, I don't even remember out. how we got there. Oh, we were talking about Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. Yeah. We started recording. <laughs> but uh, DDR, you just got a card to special summon a banished monster. And you can just keep this. Every time you have a DDR, you can bring back. You activate the Divine Sword, banish Shadow Mist, and then discard the Divine Sword for DDR and bring back Shadow Mist. Huh. Really awesome. Which will add a change That's card to your hand. call it Degenerate Loop. I mean, degenerate. That is a degenerate loop, I guess. There's been FTK decks formed around that combo, yep. such as Kuras Explosion. Mm -hmm. That Why deck is that fun. work anymore. It never worked. <laughs> Maybe it never worked. It kind of worked. Okay, whatever. What I've used it. It's like a one of those twenty percent time. Okay. FTK decks. But we move on. <laughs> yes. But well, I digress. Uh, other ways to special summon the most simple and probably the best is a hero lives. Yeah. Yep. It comes in the structure deck, too. Is it still at one, or is that three now? It's, it was never at one. Yeah, that was yeah. Japan. Oh, right. Uh, Hero lives. Yeah. While you control no face of monsters, pay half your life points. Special summon a level four lower E hero from your deck. It is what it is. It's great in every aspect. It Except for pain. That skill so cliche use 000. right there. I mean, it's, it's everything you want it to be. What? It is. It is what it is. It does. I wish what, you could do it. It does. It does its job. That's what I want. I'm trying, quick I'm, trying to, I'm trying to cliche my way out of this. <laughs> oh really? You know, that's those yeah, skilled use of cliches right there. Uh yeah, you were doing great. You yeah. played hard. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this card always does what you want it to do. It it does. So that is. <laughs> so now here's the basic play. You yeah. special summon Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist. Yeah, change. Set it, and then during their turn, you use activate it. It's yeah, a good card that a lot of good duelists use. <laughs> <laughs> um, other things. It sees some use in this matter. Uh, there's also Summoner Monk. Discard your plethora of spells to summon Shadow Mist from your deck. Really puts in work. <laughs> yeah. It's a good play that. Uh, yeah. It's, 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 really good it's a strong play for the deck. It's mm -hmm. a strong play. Um, another card. Other things that are functional or do well that I've seen do well is uh, Diamond Dude. Less and most the, of the good decks. Yeah, lets the deck achieve its things. <laughs> I mean, you run so many spells. I mean, it's, it's a staple. Yeah, it's a staple. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're de this is just de degenerating and evolving so quickly. <laughs> it's unbelievable. There's a bunch of cliches. The fellow is. Mm -hmm. I've seen people do four-hour radio shows just only speaking in cliches, and it just goes. Mm. Well, it's you can get some good pluses off of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a strong engine for the deck. It moves yeah. it forward. Yeah. yeah. It's a very important card for the deck. It's got synergy. It's got good synergy with all the other cards. Very important card for the deck. Let's move on. Heroes yeah. run a lot of normal spells, so... Yeah. Uh, for And a Deidre. So it's an easy way, because when Stratos died, remember when Stratos died and everybody was like, how am I supposed to summon Stratos and add Malicious to my hand again? What am I supposed to do now? Now you can just add Malicious to your hand and play Deidre. Yeah. You can do it, but would you want to? And it's now Popsicle. But do you want to? No. Maybe. And that was like literally everything in my, my list of things that worked. Oh, oh and there's Lava Chain, which mm -hmm. can send Shadow Mist or Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. Mm -hmm. Or Malicious. Allure. And if you're Ballsy, you can send Shadow Dragon, which works also with Armageddon Knight with Mass Change Second. That's something very important in the meta, which is destroy spells and traps. Yes. And then there's Dasher, if you're that really cool guy. 
I was thinking about how to mix this with like elemental dragons or dragon rulers. I mean, because I don't outside the box, miracle fusioning them out. It's like, what dragons do you need? Is the problem? The problem is they don't banish to add anything you want. Yeah, so that's that's. I mean, uh, just need a few important dragons. Man, debris can't get anything at all. No, no, no. All limited to one dragon. Oh, limited other interesting one. card. Uh, in a potential DDR build or a Voltic build, you can run the Baby Cast Dragon, so that's a good option. Because mm. then you can go Special Summon Wiver Burster, Banishing Shadow Mist, Summon Voltic, and then attack very, it. Very with powerful it. combo. Uh, when Voltic inflicts battle damage, it Special Summons a Banished Hero. Yeah. Or, or, or all of the possible ones, or just, just one? one. Powerful There's combo a funny OTK a with it, using, mm. I think it's Death Counter Blow. Death Counter Blow. I don't think it works anymore. Well, it works... <sighs> Dark kind yeah, of it still works, but it's difficult. It, That's you have to have, stupid. I know what that does. I was thinking about this earlier. I didn't think about it as that. Yeah, you have to have like Death Counterboil and either D Fisher yeah. or Macrocosmos. Or the, <laughs> and then uh, if you have a Banished Voltic and a Voltic on the field, and then you activate Death Counterboil and D Fisher, so you attack directly with Voltic, he'll be destroyed. He'll special summon the other Voltic, and then he'll be destroyed by Death Counterboil and be banished. And attack yep. with Voltic, special attack. <laughs> Oh, it's right. a funny OTK. I love it. But how hard is it to Does have the best boss One. Game. No, ten is like impossible. Nine. One is like easy. Eight. Nine? Nine. Eight. Eight. eight is eight. Eight what? Eight. Okay. And difficulty to summon to activate this OTK scale. Ten, ten is impossible. One is very easy. Like mm. the easiest thing ever. Like Shadows. And five could be of average difficulty. Yeah. But um what I'm most looking forward to is Splashy, Mass Change Second, and like Shadow Mist and the things. Being able to run Destiny Heroes again. Plasma Deck, as you were saying, you've been running a lot of Plasma Deck. I love Plasma. Oh, so awesome. Yeah, this so deck fun. is going to make a big splash in the middle. Did you make a like actual Destiny and Dragoon deck with it? With Plasma? No, just End Dragoon deck. I don't think it's in here. With this, though? Have you done it yet? Uh, yeah, it was the one that I made for, I don't know, something. Did you use Shadow Mist? Yeah. Oh, man. It, it was, was so much better with Shadow Mist. It was the best. You it get was... you get those D-Draws, and you yeah. get those trade-ins for days. Mm. And then you get those Endragoon, so... Yeah. Endragoon. Endragoon is good. But yeah, that's, uh, that's yours. And that is the Masked Hero structure deck and what we feel. And you get a common duality. Yeah. <sighs> like, you need another repair of that card. Yeah, so we'll take a break and we'll be back with some comments and some questions. I was going to say, but I thought about making a Hero Sun deck with Neo Salus, you know, Gemini Spark. But then I realized in the face of everything that normal meta decks do, like, summoning a Neos alias means nothing. Yeah, there's no place for it anymore. Like, on a... I guess that's never threatening. There's no... Uh, like, what are you going to stop me from doing? There's no intermediate play in any of the decks that's either threatened by a 1900 attack monster or impeded by a monster having that much attack. Mm -hmm. So, like, bringing a best, their intermediate play is just having a Dante in defense. Which, my 1900 defense monster just makes me feel... Like, it's I, essentially a useless card to myself. Mm-hmm. And then Shadol's, they're just going to set a monster that's going to have booty on it. Or have a fusion monster that's bigger than it. That when you destroy it, you both benefit from yeah, it. Yeah, or it can be destroyed. Oh, yeah, window. Yeah. And then uh, Cliff Wards, they're basically, I, I always consider their barrier as 21 because you equip. Mm. Well, at least you have something that gets rid of Scout. Yeah. That's the, the best thing. The best thing is, I think. That of the matchups, that is the, the most feasible. Yeah, that is the most feasible. But, but then, but just just because you have more MSTs than anyone else, I guess. Yeah. But at the same time, you don't. But uh, the the idea was that with the addition of Shadow Mist, you now gain access to a lot of more powerful plays and OGKs. Mm hmm. Because uh, with Shadow Mist, you're allowed to run uh, Phoenix Wingman Wing Blast because that's a good card, which adds a control element to hero stun that they didn't really have because they were bound to destruction. Mm. But with that, now you have that, that awesomeness that searches alias. The other thing is that, like, Hero Blast is a thing. Yeah, Hero Blast is good. Like, Hero Blast would get uh, Cliff Wards because they start out at 18. Yeah. And then, like, activate 
And go spell and you can just chain. And... Well, I mean, don't they still get something if they That's activate true. the equip spells? Maybe you main mistake. No, you can never main mistake with Shadow Mist. Mm. I'm sad. Mm. But, yeah, I guess you just do it instantly. Mm -hmm. uh, what else was interesting about that? Oh, yeah, because of the... Let's say you're just running... That's, like, how you run. You run three Rhoda, three Neos Alias, three Shadow Mist, and, like, an Armageddon Knight, I guess. And maybe one Bubble Mist. Mm. Why not? If you're running, like, no monsters like that, you might as well. Uh, Gerbro Gerbil Gobble. Purple Gobble Gerbil Gobble. Oh, yeah, and then you run the mass changes. So then uh, all those monsters can now, like, translate into random OTKs. Because you can just, like, attack, mass change attack all the time. And then if you, like, for example, go Miracle Fusion, summon, attack, attack, and then mass change attack, potentially for game. It's more otk able than previous hero decks. It's not as slow. Yeah. Which is interesting. That's interesting, yeah. I don't know. Something to try. So many new things. But then, uh, the same problem was there that I was thinking about. Where it's just like, ew, I don't want to, like, summon an 1800 attack monster. But then there's no other hero monster that can be your, like, basis for your deck than Alias. Mm-hmm. Unless you're running Destiny Heroes, which the is the one is, that most people have gravitated towards. In order, like, the top decks can, like, go off and have their, like, go-off monster just be kind of, like, there while they do other stuff. When heroes, like, go yeah. off, you have to, like, use everything and the whole... And if that get, monster gets destroyed, you have, like, no backup. Yeah, monster. it invests... They invest all the cards into the board permanently. Permanently. With no return if it gets destroyed. But, uh, what is it? Oh, gosh, never mind. That's bad. I was gonna say, but, like... The Shining's still a pretty good card, but then I was like, no, it's not. Because nope. against Heroes, they're like, why are you summoning a monster from the extra... Oh, not, Sardellas are why are you going to the extra deck, bro? Yeah. That's not going to work. Yeah. And then against Cliff Horse, they're like, oh, you don't summon those monsters in the extra deck unless you have a plan, because they're going to go back there. <laughs> so they're going. They're going back. And then, I guess the only thing it's reasonable against is Burning Abyss, but in which case, that's like your only option, and that means they're just sitting on Phoenix Wings mm. and waiting. Wait, What? First turn release or clause, your move. Winky face. Okay, but moving on, random, that was a random comment from myself. But we got some three comments on episode 150. We're going to visit what that name means. We're going to find out quickly. First turn release or clause. Now, okay, so like first comment. Is by Drew. Oh, Once yeah, again, no. the world's fastest duelist. Top down. He says, right. So, guys, what are your thoughts and plans on YCS Seattle, which is on February 14th through 15th, which is Valentine's Day, by the way? In case you were unaware, I'd love to see oh, that Valentine's Day was my comment, not his. Oh. Uh, and I'd love to see the whole crew play and attend. Hmm. He already said no comment. Will you hold to that no comment? I mean, I will probably be there if I can. Okay, makes sense. I'll be there. I might be there. It, I, I refuse to go down there in one day, though. How do you like, mean? Like, drive up there in the morning, and then drive back, and then drive Where? up again to... what is it YCS Seattle? It's in uh, it Tacoma? Tacoma. Yeah, I... I Tacoma's I, not very far. I'm not going to drive up there every day. Every, every day? Are if we don't make it to gate... Gate two. <laughs> game two. Day two. Yeah. Uh, then we're not going to go day two. Yeah. Yeah. Would you just go up day one? Yeah. I would, no. I would want to go up there the night before. Why? It's only like, what is it, like an hour? Maybe two hours? I still don't want to wake up early and then drive early. I don't want to. I mean, if, if you want to. I mean, the problem is I probably worked the night before. Mm. But I'd have to request that day off yeah, as well. That's not worth it. Be that guy. <laughs> but, I mean, I would do it if I could. Mm-hmm. Like, driving 20 minutes up to Seattle in the That's morning easy, is, yeah. is easy, but... Easy. Worst, worst experience ever. <laughs> Smoke hand, drive up, drive back the same day. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that regionals was fun, mm -hmm. but I will never drive to Spokane. Drew does this every time there's one in Seattle. And he's a beast. He drives from Spokane, which is four, roughly four hours, uh, and the regional starts at about 10, so that means he leaves at best, worst case scenario, I guess he leaves at 6 in the morning. And then uh, it ends usually at like 8 or 9, which means in four hours he'll get home past midnight. Mm. And I just, like when I did it, we woke up at 4 and left. 
Well, I woke up at 3, and then we left at 4, I guess. Ugh. So that's what happened. I don't have that much energy. You thought there was energy left <laughs> at the end of the day? So, and then we leave, we go up, it takes four hours, worst four hours of my life, mm. or so I thought. <laughs> 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 and then uh, we enter those regionals, you make egregious misplays all day because you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> like, Devin watches his opponent play DDR, brings out Dark Arm, and he's like, whatever, and he skips up his cards and loses. <laughs> DDR bring back Dark Arm. I Scoop. remember hearing about that. Good. <laughs> Someone had the audacity to try and do that. Yeah. It well, it worked. Dark Arm's a new card. I can totally do this. It was really. It was like past old. Yeah, I know. That's funny. Uh, and then so now it's like eight o'clock. Haven't eaten dinner yet, so we gotta eat dinner. Mm -hmm. Eat dinner takes us some time. Go home. Worst car ride ever. Mm. It yeah. wasn't the worst. The next time we drove back to Spokane. When Justin was there, that was the worst for me because really? I, I didn't sleep at all. Oh, you? Because <laughs> we went up the night before, and we got there like uber late because of the whole Justin's car crash fiasco. Oh yeah. And then we got there so late that it was almost like I didn't want to sleep. Mm -hmm. And then I tried to sleep, and I so like, slept sleep. maybe an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it, you might as well have not. Slept. Yeah. And then we went to Denny's afterwards, and Denny's was awesome. Yeah. But then we on the way back, it was we got back at like two in the morning. Hmm. So that four hours starting from, like, I guess 10, I, I was so tired. Okay. I was driving. Yeah, it's bad. And then for, like, I don't know how long it was, because Devin was like, hey, I'll drive for a little bit. And so I got in the back. It was just terribly uncomfortable. And I don't remember falling asleep, but all of a sudden I woke up some amount later. Uh, Kyle was like, oh, man, I never sleep in cars. It's, like, impossible to fall asleep. And then, like, five minutes later, you were sleeping. I was like, okay. <laughs> I felt miserable when I woke up. That's mm. all I know. Because you slept in the car. <laughs> I, know, and I don't do that. I only do that when I'm just like Damn. deathly tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a good reason. Falling asleep in the car for me isn't that bad. I always get like nice and like comfortable after like adjusting my position. If like, only so that was possible in, in the back of my car. No. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Imagine. Oh, you were never in the back, were you? You just got a you just got a shoulder on someone. No. Oh. So the in the back the whole time up. you have to either choose to be behind someone's shoulder on your shoulder mm. or be leaning forward at all times with your your elbows on your knees. No, there's the... Are you in the center? That No, I was on the side. <laughs> yeah, and in my right... He was, was behind the driver's seat. Uh, what I did was... Uh, you'd think there was enough room in my car, but there wasn't. Okay. I thought there was enough room for three people back there. Oh, there oh, oh, oh. So I was on the side going like this, and then there's like the door handle going like this. And then Kevin is like behind me on the right, mm. and then I just fell asleep like like yeah, this. That's, that's, his head is like hanging down. That's not yeah. good. It, it was bad. Yeah. And apparently they were like, "Yeah, I've been this miserable the whole time." In the back, I was like, "Oh, that's too bad. Good thing I drive." That's all hilarious. <laughs> but uh, so, I will be at YCS. Yeah. Um, I know Rob will be there. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Kaiba, who is Kevin, mm -hmm. the Kevin I referred to, and the guy who played Satellite Nights with Oasis, that mm -hmm. is all the same person. He mm -hmm. says he doesn't want to go or play, but I bet he'll end up going. So he has, like, legitimate reason to not go because he has literally no deck because oh. he sold his Satellite Nights. He didn't sell it. He traded it for a bunch of cards, mm -hmm. a bunch of individual high-value cards mm -hmm. that he wanted. Plus, he was just, I don't know, he, did, he really doesn't like this meta at all. So he's gonna be meta but, I, but I have succumbed to the meta. YCS Seattle, maybe. Kyle, yes. Justin, yeah. maybe. Me. Other guys from our maybe. locals, if you know them, will be there. Yeah. Uh, AKA Rob. He's the only one I know for sure. Oh, and Fe I don't even know. What Phoenix about, still hasn't been like technically unbanned. What about sense. what about champion person? Champion Stibbs. Stibbs, I don't think so. I think he's busy with like college now. Um, he got out of high school. I'm pretty sure. Geez. YCS champion Michael Stibbs. So. so. Well, anyways, GS mm -hmm. is a comment. I hope Performa Pals actually become a good deck. Judging from the way the anime is going, they may get a tuner soon. Mm -hmm. I enjoy using fun decks, ignoring the meta decks. I'm just holding out for Gaga Ga Sister and more Fluffle support. In your opinion, what are the most fun, non-meta, decently competitive-ish decks? I tried to be him, but everybody laughed at me. <laughs> What? He's just talking about using Melodious. Oh. The problem, Justin, is when you choose a quote-unquote fun deck, you always choose a stall deck that doesn't achieve anything. Shut up. Like, I'm going to use Ghost Tricks. Lights I'm going to use. 
Yeah, literally. Yeah. I, was gonna say, I read this before the podcast, and I was like, oh, Light Swords. Yeah, right. Light Swords, then Heroes, then if I have to pick something new. Um... Stop choosing my dicks, man. <laughs> Then what, what was uh, it? I really like using What's... frogs. Oh, I don't like using monarchs, but I like frogs. Mm. Monarchs are that fun. They're good. The fluffles were fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Cool. I like rituals that aren't. I like ritual archetypes. I don't like stupid individual ritual oh. monsters. I love using any confounded deck that uses destiny and malicious oh. to do too many things. <laughs> confounded. Just a fun monster. It was. I have what? used it many a time. What about you, Justin? Uh. I mean, all my decks are like. Seems like every other deck that I make is kind of like an off-meta. That's deck. true. Well, we went from Ghost Tricks to Melodious. Before Ghost Tricks, I don't even know plants. No. no? It was what was before that? It was another. Uh, I don't remember. It wasn't lineups. The no, lineups was way before that. Yeah. You went have through to... windups and then. Uh, like Heralds, and then... Oh, oh Heralds was way before Windups, too. Oh, was it? Okay. And then... You like Windups? Yeah. It's a fun non-meta deck. Did you exist... Not with the time I was using it, it was a meta deck. I don't know. Yeah. What did you do? What the heck did you do? Uh, It's hard to remember. I, I'd have to look at all my cards, then I, like, remember. I feel like I went through a evil period. Mm. Evils, yeah. Was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that. Uh... Fortunately, he's like resurgence. Mm. Try again. A little bit. Uh, no. Like, what do you do? Yeah, Nothing. I know. You still can't do anything with light. It's so annoying. Yeah. Wait, can you mass change to light and will it work? Uh, no, it's then, right? No, yeah, it says then. Are you sure? Yes, we looked at it earlier. No. Send it then to summon yeah. a monster. No! Yeah, yeah. it's stupid. <laughs> Bad. Um, oh, yeah, prophecies. That was Prophecy. Mm. That was the boy. That was that was that old boy. That, that was your your dominating mm. period. At oh Phoenix. yeah. Mm. You go get first. Go get first. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Then I sold off because it was getting boring. Mm. But forever. Which is weird because that was like my probably my favorite deck that I've ever run because I liked the lore behind prophecies. I liked having it. I liked the way they worked. I understood and. You could probably get it back pretty easily now. Uh, yeah. But he doesn't want to play it still. So. Uh, I mean, if it was like sitting all there right in front of me and I could like trade it and if I had to buy parts of it, it would be really cheap. Then what about probably Mask be... of Prophecy? No. We can turn Book Boy into Acid. Bad. All bad. Why? Prove it. <laughs> prove it. Prove it. What are you going to discard? You're not going to discard anything. There's you're running, like you're running, no, you're running uh, the level one. Oops. Oh, that's actually pretty awesome. I forgot. Yeah, the stoic prophecy. Yeah, it's stoic. I always my ideas for that deck always use stoic. <laughs> stoic, stoic was good. Awesome. Foolish burial stoic. That was synergy, good. man. That's why it discards stoic. Uh, you can you can change with stoic. Yeah. Oh, that's so the best deck ever. Best oh idea. Oh my god, so good. Um, next comic. By the first turn, releaser clause your move. Dun, 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 dun. I want to know what that name means. Yeah. Are right, you guys? Releaser Klaus. Your move. Happy face. Oh, oh first turn releaser. What's that? I don't know. Necroz, get it? First turn releaser. You got releaser. Something. Vision, releaser, rituals, or whatever. Oh. No, is that? Sure. You got releaser. I don't know. Releaser. Yeah, Dejen releaser. Got it. Thank you. Plus Colossalus. Uh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Good. Good. Releaser Claus. You figured it out. <laughs> so. Yes, you do. Do. The Necroth of Necroz of Colossus is a level 3 ritual monster. and uh, You may have seen it in our duel earlier. You can discard this card, add a Necroth spell, drop from your deck to your hand, that's fine. Do you need the player's turn? You can target a monster on the field that was special summoned from the extra deck if the tag becomes 0, and if it does, its effects are negated, and it lasts until the end of each turn. I need to lose this monster turn. But uh, what's relevant is 1200 attack, 2300 defense, and it's level 3 ritual monster. And the releaser, Dijin releaser of rituals is level 3, and it can be banished from the graveyard to be used as ritual material as well. And if it's used as a ritual material, is it, is it ritual material? Yeah. Or is ritual it a tribute. If this is, yeah, it's just when a monster is ritual summoned using it. Mm -hmm. uh, that the monster, As long as that monster is in the field, your opponent can't special summon. Yep. So you just summon a first turn colossalist, and it's essentially an emptiness that's really hard to get off the board. Mm -hmm. And then his question was, are you guys going to do a Necroz podcast? The answer is, yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll get there. 
I like um, rituals. I don't want to play with it online very much. I do. So I'm. I'll let Matt get the experience, and I'll just do reading. <laughs> Coastal. Huh? Coastal city. Coastal city. Yeah. All right, we have done it. We're here. We've reached the end. Two twenty-eight. We'll stall for a minute and fifty seconds. No, because then we'll stall for fifteen minutes. We'll stall for a long time. And we'll stall for fifteen more, and then we'll be two hours. Oh my God! Let's see. I could. I could say something. I could take up like a minute. I'll say that I uh, added three new rules to my card game that made it a lot faster and nice. scary and awesome. I'll say that I completed Captain Toad. I didn't finish it. I completed Ooh, it. Ooh, that's awesome. That's all the way. I finished Shadows of Mordor. I mean, I nice. finished Pokemon Shadows of Mordor edition. Oh, nice. I'm done with that now. How was that? Anticlimactic ending. Oh. And the fact that you can take over orcs, or uruks, I guess, is... Uh, really polarizing because it takes you away from the combat unless you specifically go to attacking people. What do you mean? What do you mean Pokemon Shadows of Mordor Edition? You Are capture you, orcs. <laughs> you put your hand on them and then they become your slaves. Yeah. Are you talking about actually the Shadow of Mordor? Yeah. Oh. Shadow you see how your Wii U is beeping? Yeah. It's telling you you can buy the Metroid Prime Trilogy for $10. Ooh, that $10. I know. <laughs> that's a crazy good deal. That's really, really good. Like so right. good that I got it. Really? Oh. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's ten bucks. Why? I, I, why can't? Why wouldn't I buy that? I might have to do that. On it's three really good games. That's for ten dollars and thirty-three cents a piece. Yes, that's and one of them is one of my favorite games of all time. So Metroid Prime One. Yeah, nice. that game is really good. And now we've taken up the last time. We did it. And uh, comment on our YouTube page or on our podcast page, ycgpodcast.com. Email us at email at ycgpodcast.com. You just plugged yourself. I am Kyle Oliver. I'm Justin Bell. And he's Matt Carter. I'm Matt Carter. And we'll be back. The man behind the music. And the next time in 10 seconds with, I don't know what the next one's about, but you'll figure it out when you turn it on to listen. Yeah, well, we'll know. Deuces. Thank you.